Okay, <laughs> one more thing. This does technically take place in Everend. Jonathan and I talked about this, but it has absolutely no connection to the campaign. Um, or does it? I love this, though. I mean, as far as I know, it doesn't. <sighs> Hey, if you want to bring one of our characters as an NPC, no, <laughs> no, no, no. no, I'm pretty sure it takes it, this takes place centuries before our current. Uh, Twelve thirty-four. Oh, can I have you, chosen my god. Can we effectively change, to, <laughs> you know, the course of history? I mean, <laughs> if we go back and there's repercussions. I mean, our characters suddenly remember a, a world-shattering event. I mean, I'm pretty sure this isn't world-shattering. Um, is this kind of lore that um, Davy's character will know in in the current campaign? <laughs> I mean, this 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 will, is what created his um, his schizophrenia. Oh, okay. yes. paranoia! <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so the uh, story starts. Uh, like a lot of these stories often do, in a tavern. In case you haven't figured out by the battle map, you are an adventuring group known as the uh, Pirates of Paylor. And, uh, you have, uh... <laughs> you have, My uh, suggestion! ...bedded down in the tavern known as the Disgruntled Dolphin in the town of Willbrook. Uh, after a particular... After helping the local populace deal with a particularly pernicious problem involving a pair of umber hulks and some fine silk trousers. So, having bedded down for the night, you guys are... Or, sorry, having just rested for the night, you all are coming down to the, t the, the tavern for breakfast. And uh, are sitting around a table when uh, your uh, local uh, local friend slash barmaid slash waitress, uh, uh, known as uh, oh god something for this, uh, known as Rosie, um, comes up to all. <clears throat> well, strike me dead if she ain't the pirates of Paylor. I heard you all did a really good job last night with that uh, incident involving those uh, Umber Hulks. That was a uh, very nice of you. Uh, I think the mayor left something for you, and uh, we'll, we'll get that for you later. But uh, for now, um, I'll, breakfast is on the house. We insist. Um, so I'll, I'll be taking your orders. Uh, Miss uh, Kendra, what are you having? And if I uh, could, second, if you could introduce your character just real quickly and flavorfully. <laughs> oh, God. Why are you bonus on me? Uh, okay, you, see a, you see a beautiful, stoic half-elf. And you can see her, she has a tire of a monk. It's loose flowing and it's well tailored. And then she goes, um, what a bitch. <laughs> Can't do this. Um, yeah, um, I'll just have the usual, Rosie. Like, what's good right now? Okay, your uh, usual bacon and eggs. Uh, got it. Um, Mr. Uh, Sir Ketz, I know you don't uh, normally eat things, but um, it's always good to have you here. Um, so, I'm, I'm just gonna say hi, Jonathan, if you could. Uh, you see a Warforged, obviously no hair, completely silver, uh, blue eyes, he has a little monocle, he carries around a bag of maps with him all the time, and he has a robe that he wears that is kind of patchwork, it has patches all on it. Um, um, yes, uh, I cannot have any food. Do you have oil? Uh, well, uh, I'll ask, uh, Miss, uh, I'll ask Miss Ava in the kitchen if she has any cooking oil, and if that's acceptable, maybe we can get you some. Uh, Thank well, you. let's move on, uh, Miss, uh, Clover, how are you doing? Uh, and what do you want for breakfast? Dan, uh, if you could. Okay, uh, so, standing there very pint-sized, pint uh, a little bit over three foot two, is Clover, who has uh, luscious lavender hair um, and uh, purple eyes, and she wears kind of like um, uh, a leather tunic that kind of has uh, the lacings in the front, much like the picture that she uses. Um, and she uh, has like this really, uh, I, I would say like, this kind of like button nose with oversized eyes and stuff. So um, she's kind of like hops up on the chair and says, "Oh, some scrambled eggs, please." All right. Um, Rosie just nods at you, and you, um, your passive insight detects that you. She thinks you are adorable. Um, okay. Uh, if I could, uh, Mr. Uh, Gisargo, if you could, uh, what would you like? Uh, yes, uh, Jazargo uh, would 
like uh, some fruit. Uh, Just fruit? Okay. No meat, but. If Davy, if you could also describe your character a little. Ah, uh, yes, born? yes. <laughs> uh, well, Jazargo is a uh, is a uh, fur fur brug, uh, uh, blue fur, uh, uh, very tall, and uh, skinny. Uh, you know, uh, leaves everywhere. He's not a very clean person. Uh, and uh, he wears like a, 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 a like a, a leather vest that's too small for him. You're cutting in and out oh, a over. Um, okay, good. Over his armor. Okay. Um, the uh, uh, employees of the disgruntled dolphin are a little used to your mess, so uh, Rosie has a broom in her hand and is sort of just ready to uh, sweep things up after you. Uh, and uh, last but not least, Miss Shelley. It's always nice to have you, you here. Thank you. I'll have some milk with honey, please. And you see this wonderful uh, short girl, or maybe a woman. It's hard to tell. And she has a big puffy coat. It starts from the neck. And she has a puffy dress. And it's so white. And these buns of hair, blonde hair, all over her head. And um, she generally has a very smiling face and almost like her eyes are closing as she's smiling. And, uh, well, thank you, Miss Rosie. Just the milk. Oh, maybe a Danish. All right. Uh, we'll see if we have those kinds of pastries. Um, yeah, if we don't, then I'm sure we can work something out. We have this lovely loaf, of, this lovely uh, bit of sourdough bread that came in yesterday um, or this morning. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, yeah, so uh, Rosie leaves to go get some, uh, go get your orders, and you guys sit and talk in the tavern for a while. Um, your food starts trickling out. They've they've known you long enough to know that you guys prefer to have your orders served piecemeal uh, rather than all at once. So, uh, Kendra, your uh, bacon and eggs, and uh, Davy, your fruits uh, come out. But before the rest of you uh, get your food. <laughs> There is a sound of clattering hooves, surprised yelps, and frantic bleeding. Before the party can react, a sheep bounds towards them. The beast appears to be a regular sheep in every way. Fluffy white coats, uh, black face, curled horns, but it is carrying an elaborate scroll in its mouth. And let me drop this out out of the astral plane into your flare. Okay, can you guys see that? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, still looking. Hold on. It's it's, it's right yeah. next to uh, my token. On the All map. right. Um. Well, a lot of you are skullcasters, so uh, oh. <laughs> Clover, you you happen to be sitting the closest. So this uh, sheep sort of just butts up to you, and it's like sort of has a scroll in its mouth, and it's just sort of gesturing to you. It's like okay. I can see you are very very blatantly uh, uh, learned in the magical arts. Mm -hmm. and it's just sort of bumping it up next to you. Oh, how adorable! Oh, look, guys, a scroll! The sheep uh, seems to recoil at being called adorable. <laughs> uh, after he takes the scroll, uh, I uh, lean down to, to give pets to the goat. The, the, the sheep, um, which is not a goat. Sheep. Um, yes. That. Uh, sort of just recoils from your touch. Like, it doesn't really appreciate this. All right. Uh, circuit pulls up his monocle. I wonder what it is. Okay, um... It is a sheep, obviously. Shall Clover, I read? Shall I read this? Yeah, Clover, as you, uh, examine the wax scroll in your, the wax seal of the scroll in your hands, you note that it seems, uh, it purports to be a modified scroll of speak with animals. Like, mass speak with animals, I'm gonna say. Oh. Um, and, yeah. Okay? Okay, so, um, Clover, like, sees what it is and says, Oh, I think this will help. And I would like to perform... Uh, I don't know if it, if it's a, a wizard scroll that she can read. It's, or it's... it's a valid spell. It, it, you have the ability to spell cast it. I'm okay, so I'll cast it. Okay, um, so the ble the sheep's like frantic bleats bah, bah, um, suddenly transform into the um, cultured, though still a little um, uh, sheepish, ship, sheepish um, <laughs> uh, common, like a with a slight elvish accent. Oh, thank God! And, uh, Adventurers, 
you're here. I, um, you're not the, uh, common clay of the earth, and I, uh, I happen to require your aid. Now, you see, I am the great wizard, Finithir Shinebright, and I, suddenly, a loud howling fills the air, accompanied by the angry yells and the occasional scream that seems to be drawing closer and closer, and the screams, as they were, enter the bar. Um, well, the, the things that are causing the screams to enter the bar, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, drop the sins of the token layer. Does anyone hear that? <laughs> the cause quickly becomes apparent as a huge half-orc with painted with paint-flecked armor stag swaggers towards you, pushing his way through the crowd without a care for anybody standing his way. In front of him walk what appear to be a trio of large wolves wearing iron collars with strangely intelligent eyes. A hulking figure in a dirty black brown cloak travels in his wake with footfalls loud enough to be heard over the ruckus. The uh, half-orc sets his small eyes on you and, s and strides forward with one hand ru hilting on, resting on the hilt of a great sword. Um, uh, that sheep is a uh, Master Noakes, and uh, he desires to have it back. This is Master's... what? That uh, sheep is uh, a Master someone. Noakes. Uh, Matt, you may have heard of him. He's a great... Uh, he, he's, the, he's the town's local transmuter. He's a... Uh, very good at his job, and he's, he, I'm going to say he's a great employer, um, but um, he real, that's, sheep has great uh, uh, scent, immense owl value to him, and he would like it back. So, if, if you're a, a transmuter... Uh, I'm not a transmuter, I'm just an orc. Do I look like a trans... Oh, look, I'm, I'm this big dude in, in, in armor, I'm... I, I, Shut up, you little short stack! Rude! I'm um, gonna go ask you to be a little more cordial. That was Please. very unsavory. Yes. Look, the sheep's uh, still there. The sheep's still there, right, Eva? Yeah, uh, it's uh, so actually uh, it's uh, sort of cowering uh, in the back of the in the back, sort of ducking near Jazargo. Um, Okay. Uh, you, you get the sense that it doesn't seem to like Goose or, or well, this orc who has not introduced himself as Goose or the wolves. Um, she will address uh, the sheep and say, Good sir, if you are a transmuter, why can't you transform back into your human form? Do you prefer the form of a sheep? Uh, look, look I, I can't explain this now. I need you to get rid of that orc. He is not a friendly man. He is a, a minion of my tra uh, of my of my wayward apprentice. Okay, I need you to get rid of him. He will bring me back, and I will be stuck there for another two years of just sitting around eating grass and shitting out in the open. Who is, who... Can we roll insight on the sheep? You roll insight <laughs> on the sheep. Yeah, sure. Uh, you are going. Uh, and who is your apprentice? Uh, can you tell us a little bit, maybe, so we know? Uh, yeah, uh, look, uh, I, I don't feel safe here. Uh, we'll protect sorry. you, don't worry. We'll, we'll uh, keep you safe. There's on, five I... of us and one of him. So, don't worry. Just We just want to know who your apprentice is. Okay. Um, Give me one sec. Is it uh, also, is it possible for everyone to change their name so that I can see who what characters everyone is? Yeah, I did in roll 20. Yeah, I see that you did clever, yeah. Okay, I will say he rolled a higher deception than you, but he is telling the truth. Look, it's <laughs> just a contested thing, I'm sorry. Um, he does seem to be generally truthful, Sekiyun. Um, Wait, okay. Yeah. Circuit just looks around. I wonder where my oil is. Look, um, Rosie, Rosie the barmaid starts coming back and then she sees this, uh, scene involving all these uh wolves and she's just gonna sort of slide back in with uh, the plate of scrambled eggs um slide back into the kitchen and just cower in general and all the other patrons are looking here looking very uncertain and uh goose for the record cannot hear you um talking to finisir or the, talking to the sheep um he the scroll only affects has only affected your party when you cast it so while you can all hear the sheep sort of bleeding out his pleas for help. Uh, he just hears you talking to, conversing with the sheep in a, a series of bleats. So it looks very strange from his and the, his uh, little 
minions' uh, points of view. And these walls are starting to circle in the very large fader, which is totally not a bear. Circuit is just... Circuit's just uh, keeping his eye on these people, since they're okay. so close to him. Okay, well, um, Goose is just going to interrupt you and be like, Okay, look, um, I, I think we got off on the wrong foot. Maybe I can uh, help you guys help me, right? That's uh, Master Nopes, it's his property, and uh, maybe I can offer you a bribe for it. Like, uh, there's the one, two, three, four, after four. Five. That would be five. Five, <laughs> five holes, Seven. five of you. So maybe a uh, five gold pieces, one for each of you, would be is the kind of uh, arrangement we can come to. Uh, to uh, uh, you know, you know, you give me the sheep, and I give you, you know, money. Uh, uh Kendra goes um, um, Mister um, Mister Orca. That sounds super amazing. So why don't you um. Wait outside, and we'll talk among no, ourselves. No, I, I don't want. I, I, look, I, I don't want you here <laughs> like you with my master's like... stolen property. Look, I, I'm just. Look, you're making me very confused. And when I get confused, I get angry. Okay. And when I get angry, I start hitting things. Well, that would be very unnecessary. You would lose the fight. Probability, probably eighty percent that we win. Well, yeah, it's not a good look, I, I, I don't know some some of those words like. Uh, what is AT? AT is a mathematical number. I, you're, you're making me very confused. I don't like this. Look, are you I am sorry. Are you sheep or not? You stupid metal man. He's gonna get up all in here. A lot of good things. Uh, perhaps we could take this outside. That is a very good uh, idea. Okay, you guys want to go outside? Uh, I just sent you a message. Oh, sorry. I just really want my Danish, please. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, well, yeah. Um, Clover would like to cast Web. Everyone, roll initiative. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Um, could this be like a surprise action? Considering yes, it will be a surprise. Um, okay. It will be a. Su I'm gonna say it's a surprise. It, it, I'm gonna say. Um, Everyone in the hostile party will be surprised, and in fact, I think... I don't know. None Everyone of, none of, on this party will be surprised? Yeah, none of, <laughs> no one who's not Clover will be, uh, ha will have expected this, will you? Realistically? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, no. roll, guys, roll your initiative. So, I can't uh, click on my token. She, she has, has, considering we've adventured before, Clover is very kind of like, comes off as very polite, but if she does the hair flip, then that's a sign that she's getting upset. So uh, after being interrupted and called short stack by this, she kind of turns her okay. head because she's addressing the sheep, flips her hair and glares at him, and then... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say then, uh, Shelly and Jazargo, uh, uh, you saw this, so you won't be surprised either. Um, Kendra and Cricket, or Cir Circuit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Kendra and Circuit, uh, you've been uh, up in Goose's face and... You will not see this, so you will have the surprise condition in the first round. That's fine. Um, um, everyone, I can't, click, I can't okay. click my token in order to assign it initiative. Oh, you can't. I am so sorry. It's because well, we're she not said we're not the uh, using the initiative tracker. Oh, okay. oh yeah. That's oh, true. yeah. Sorry. You just pop. Just pop. Yeah, it just, 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 sorry. Just, just run initiative. Hey, sixteen. So the sheep will roll a. Will roll a two for its initiative. That's great. Ooh. Uh, the wolves will roll a. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> That's with a roll. plus three, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, these are some great rolls, guys. This is going to be Goose will roll a. Goose will roll a twenty. And Eva, you're doing amazing. Yes. Yeah. You are. You're very good job. Okay, and uh, let's see the bear, which uh, ignore the, the, the it... cloaked figure, which is not a bear. You, you don't know. We'll roll a natural 20, which with this modifier is 20. Oh. So, the bear. Okay. Um, let's see. Where are all your initiatives? Okay, does anyone have above 25? I. Uh, no. Okay, does anyone have 15 to 20? 
uh, me. I have 16. Uh, so. 17 for me. Which is lucky, because I have a minus one on initiative. Okay. By the way, the party would know what... Um, uh, I'll let Ava go. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming the party knows what Web does. Okay, uh, uh, 10 to 15. Wait, David, did you raise your hand? Uh, yeah, I have 10. What's going on? Um, no, sorry, just getting your initiative. Okay, 5 to 10. Uh, B. I have a 6. I'm going to type out what circuit stands for because the party would know it. Uh, and below five? Five. I think that's all of us, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, Critical roll ketamine. No. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to roll for the civilians too. They roll a 13. But be... <laughs> I love that, Jonathan. Awesome. I also really like the fact that we know each other, so that's not awkward getting to know people. So you'll know yeah. like they're kind of like quirks and stuff. All right. So the initiative order is the bear and goose rolled bo both rolled twenties. Um, Shelley rolled seventeen. Circuit is sixteen. The civilians rolled a thirteen. The wolf. The, the wolves will all act on initiative order twelve. Um, Jazargo, you're on initiative order ten. Clover six. Kendra five. And the sheep rolled a two. Nice. <laughs> Top of the rounds. Uh, the bear and goose are surprised. Shelly, um, you are not surprised, um, so you may act this turn if you'd so like. I am not surprised. Uh, I will, sure, I will uh, act this turn. I will cast... Let's see. I'm going to pull um... out, like, it seems like a staff. And I'm just going to do like in the air, and uh, I'm going to cast Folk Cloud. Uh, um, well, Shelly acts first because she's strangely nimble for once. I, I think that's yeah. what Billy, Billy alluded to. And keying off of Clover's uh, things, she will cast Fog Cloud. I'll cast where do Fog you want Cloud. To put that? I want to put it. Um... Ah. Like here, it's a twenty-foot cube. So, is it the purple cube is already obscuring right lightly the area? I'm just going to heavily obscure uh, where the cloth uh, figure is and one of the wolves. Technically, it's not cast yet. Um, okay, yeah. so circuit, you are surprised this round. The civilians are all surprised this round because they've been eyeing this closely, but they didn't expect to. Fight to outright break out. Uh, the wolves are surprised this round. Uh, Jazargo, you are not surprised this round and may act if you want. Ah, yes. Uh... <clears throat> Did you get the name Jazargo from Skyrim? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes, I know this. Jazargo. <laughs> and I try to do his voice uh, justice, but it ends up being a little bit more like, uh, 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 what's his face? Uh, Dracula. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's perfectly Somehow. fine. No, I don't. I don't think it sounds like Dracula at all. I don't think it does either. <laughs> One uh, someone, someone told me that. Oh, they have lied to you. They have given. You sound you. awesome, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait. Well. Oh. I, I'm actually work. not very familiar with playing in druids, so. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, Prepared spellcasters. Yeah. Yay. My wife's first uh, character was a druid. Oh. <laughs> I had to help her so much because there was so much stuff about a druid. Of all the spellcasters, a druid. To pick it, yeah, yeah. She was a fairy. She was a small, tiny fairy. Oh, that's druid. cute, though. Yeah. That, that yeah, was Al, really too. Well. And she's like, okay, I'll just go Wolverine form and. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She got all her, her hits in Wolverine form, but when she wasn't in that form, she couldn't hit anything. <laughs> oh. Oh, my poor Echo. Oh, I have faces. I have faces for Shelly. I'll post some faces. Alright. Jezargo is uh, scared he might uh, also hit the patrons. <laughs> Uh, they are still here, right? Like, they haven't all... Yeah, the, well, 
Yeah, the, these patrons are all surprised, and they haven't buggered off yet, if that's what you're wondering. Indeed. Uh, well, uh, well, we'll just get right into it then. Uh, Jazargo will uh, uh, run over here. <laughs> let, me, let me redo it. Da, da, da. It's okay. And uh, You're on camera. Uh, really like uh, get in this wolf's face and like snarl and like uh, start looking really savage as yeah. uh, his his like mouth starts to foam uh, with acid and his fingertips as well, uh, and he strikes out at the beast. Uh, with primal savagery. Mm. Okay. Uh, I, I haven't quite seen the mechanics of this one yet. Is it a melee attack, or how does this work? It is a melee attack, okay. and... Oh, there. Melee spell attack, or...? Uh, it's a spell, but I still make a, a melee attack. Yeah, yeah. So it's a melee spell attack. Uh, I think it's 2d10 for you now, though. All right. So, 25 hits, and that wolf will take huh. 8 acid Yeah, it only damage. rolled 1d10. Oh, jeez. Oh, you, you know what? Yes, it's because yeah. <laughs> I never made my character level 5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, yeah. What, do you have you like 2 hit points or something like that? <laughs> uh, 10 at the moment. <laughs> Right. Uh, oh no. Uh, here, I'll just roll another d8. Uh, I'll have it done by the next time it's my turn. It's a d10, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I need to switch the music to combat music. Yeah, that, <laughs> right, I tried uh, a total of. Uh, yeah, 16. this wolf just straight up freaking dies. Oh, hell yeah. Good job, Gizargo. Sad. <laughs> just, you, you just murdered this wolf that was just pacing here in cold blood. Good job. Um, it's not yeah. a good promise, it's not my fault. Okay, as this wolf <laughs> dies, uh, the body sort of <laughs> expands, and it's this very naked man lying bloodied and face down on the floor. Um, ah. Oh, no. Okay, so that wolf is gone. Well, uh, is that your I turn? think you done killed a person. <laughs> Those Those poor are, people. Uh, very confused. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that'll end my turn. Alright, um... Let's like your see. hat, Sekium. Clover, it is your turn. Um, what's your what's the save for the web? Um, I know it's dexterity. What's your spell casting? My spell save DC is fifteen. Okay, well I've already rolled some of these, and uh, uh, this... Booze and the wolf and this wolf both rolled a natural one. Nice. <laughs> I rolled all my twenties out last night. It sucks. Is this the Hearthstone music? No, this is, uh... From, oh, this is Skyrim, uh, the Bannered Mayor. Oh, I was gonna, uh, I, I forgot to change it to... Yeah, sorry, we need more appropriate music. The sorry. band suddenly stops playing. Yeah, <laughs> the band suddenly stops playing. No. And then starts the playing this. Suddenly starts playing this. <laughs> it's like Titanic, they switch over to this. Okay. Exactly, I love it. So, that the bear actually makes a save. And the this wolf, though, also fails. So, it's restrained. Or webs. Crap. Although, the web imposes a restraint condition, right? Uh... And uh, this one random civilian who had the unfortunate condition of being able to cross Clover's path rolls a natural, eight, rolls a natural 19. That's good for him. So he's just gonna... Uh, Alright, that's that's it. Uh, Clover, you want to do anything else with your turn besides casting web? Uh, let me check and see if I have any bonus actions. Uh... I do, but I don't don't need it at this point, so I'm good. Okay, uh, Kendra, you are surprised. Uh, Finithir, the sheep, is going to cower slightly further away. All right, um, top of the round, the uh, bear is really freaking mad at this, and it is going to move around Kendra's webs. Oh no. But the area is heavily obscured. Uh, and, Just uh, so you know. Get into Jazargo's face. 
it will take, what is it, bear stat block, brown bear, brown bear. Yeah, sorry, um, I, I've been referring to this as a bear. Um, I did miss this little bit of narration where the bear just sort of threw off its cloak and uh, uh, was obviously a bear now. Um, I think it's been kind of <laughs> obvious by this point, though, since it's a token. All right, so the bear is going to make uh, a bite attack and a claw attack at you, Jazargo. How rude. Uh, the, the bite attack is a natural two, so I don't think that's even worth considering. And I, my impromptu bit. That's also a natural two. What the sh Okay, the, the bear is going to swing wildly, and it will bounce off of you, or you dodge it, or something. Uh, I stare at it in the eyes yeah, the, the, so intensely that it misses. The bear feels very ashamed now, because it's just swung swing wide twice. Okay, Goose will move now. Um, and he... Strain just imposes the uh, zero move speed, right? Oh, wait, sorry, it was web. I web. believe. Web. Yeah, it's zero movement speed. I'll check. Is it restrained or or it's restrained. grappled? Okay. I read it just now because I didn't read it before. Okay, <laughs> so uh, speed becomes zero, and it can't bone of it cannot benefit from any bonus to its cool. speed. Um. Well. As it is, he ha ha yeah, and he has disadvantage on attack rolls and dex saving throws, and okay, it's an action to break out. Rather than trying to break out of the web, what he's going to do is he's going to make a wide sweep at the two people pissing him off who are standing right in front of him. So that would be Sirket and Kendra. Uh, he's going to attack in a very reckless manner that cancels out the uh, disadvantage oh, no. imposed by web. He uh, is a barbarian. Sort of. <laughs> um, he's, he's, a, he's an NPC monster with a stat block. Alright, so Kendra, does a uh, 19 hit? Yes, it does. Alright, and uh, Sir Ketz, that's a natural 4. I'm assuming a 7 doesn't hit. That would not hit. Okay, Kendra, you take 2d6 plus 3 is 9 damage. And as Goose swings out, it's just going to be Looking, searing at you, looking real pissed as he's covered in all this sticky web fluid. But that's his turn. <laughs> Shelly, it is your Th turn again. What? Really? Yeah, top of the round. Um, there, there were a lot of people surprised at the last round. Didn't people roll 20s before me? Uh, the I bear think I'm right. Goose, the Baron Goose rolled. Uh, oh, they were just. They 20. just went. Okay, yeah, then. That was top of the round. I will. <laughs> you say the orc's name is Goose? He has never introduced himself to you, so I feel really bad saying that, but yes. He okay, is... I don't know that then. Okay, uh, I'm going to... I know nothing. Get up. Okay. And I'm going to skip. <laughs> okay. Up to um, here. <clears throat> okay. And I'm going to, like, turn to him and say something like that's not nice and cast word of radiance word of radiance okay <laughs> what's the save on that okay so that's um 14 spell save uh for constitution okay he rolls and uh, he rolls a 12 so what happens uh he takes uh 2d6 of radiant damage. Okay, and this only affects uh, people who you can who you choose, right? It's a five feet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll your damage. That I can see within five feet. Yeah. People yeah, yeah, yeah. That I can see so, within uh, five of, feet. So. But of your choice, right? So you're not yeah. attacking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's of my choice. Okay, so that's a 2d6. Let me just roll quick. Are you just spewing radiant energy out of your mouth? No. Oh. Not right now. This man is tied up in a web, and you're just shooting fire at him, rip, holy fire at him. That's so inconsiderate. No, I'm just saying no something, he and he's it. suddenly surrounded by, like, all this light that is a very that's kind of burning him. <laughs> Alright, that is a very sad 2d6, but okay, cool. Yeah, it's You gonna fine. do anything else on your turn? It's a cantrip, so... Um, Jonathan, you're on deck, by the way. Yep. Yes, I'm going to skip back. You're going to skip back. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Cool. He can attack me, I don't care. Oh, yeah, sorry, he will try to swing at you with an opportunity attack since you have left his melee range. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. That yeah, is yeah. an 18 to hit? Oh, yeah, that just hit. 
And uh, he has a. Uh... Woo! Oh, wait, that's a, this is a d6, so that's a 6, not a 9. Um, okay. He will do 11 damage. Okay, so uh, let's see. It is the civilians' turns, and they are just going to panic and move out of here largely, or cower in the corners, like this guy is going to, you know, just, they're, they're all just going to sort of bugger off. This one's stumbling out of the fog cloud that Shelly laid, laid down earlier, and they're going to cower in the kitchen and whatnot, or make the doors as they can. It is the wolf's turn. Davy, you're on deck. Um, so this wolf in the fog cloud... Is Wait, did you skip me? Oh, I did! Oh my gosh, I am so sorry! Yeah, sorry, Circuit, you technically, the, you technically you're before the civilians, although okay. I don't think that mattered all that much. Right. So, Circuit's first gonna say, Please, everyone, please get to a safe distance. And then he's going to look around. It seems that we are even in numbers. Let's change that a little bit. And he's going to, uh, like, put his hand on his chest and kind of, like, it grabs something shadowy and throw it behind uh, uh, orc that we don't know the name of. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going so to use uh, Manifest Echo behind okay. him. So your Echo appears behind him? I, I as a bonus now. action. Okay, that's your bonus Echo action. Echo Knight! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Uh, he will then reach behind him, bring out his shield, and unsheath his rapier from his side. And he will... Technically, that's uh, free object interactions. It was, I'll, I'll, it's fine, I'll allow it. He has it. <laughs> um, he's going to look at the orc and... I'm very sorry about this and take one attack. Okay. At advantage? Either, uh, either way, because he's restrained, right? Uh, he... Well, he attacked recklessly this round, so he... Yeah, he, has, he, he definitely has advantage. Do you do flanking? I, advantage? I said I, I said I will not do flanking. Yeah. Nope. Okay, that's fine. But he did. He uh, it is at disadvantage, or it is an advantage because he attacked recklessly, and I think technically the web might also have the same effect. Oh boy, what's going on in the chat? Uh, I rolled a natural twenty. Okay, that's a natural twenty. Roll damage. Uh, so that's seven. Is that? Did you double the dice? I think it does. It yeah, it rolls another five for it. It just says one d eight plus three. Wait, hold on. My rapier does 1d8 plus 3. You rolled the 2, so that's a... Yeah, so it rolls... Yeah, that's 2d8s. I rolled a 2 and a 5. Oh, so okay, add... so uh, this is... Uh... So this is 7 plus 3, so 10 damage. Wow, I rolled two twos. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear Good. that. Um, yeah. So that's yeah. 10 damage, is that correct? That's the first attack, yep. Yeah. Okay. That's the first attack. Uh, I have two attacks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yep, fire. two attacks. Second attack. Let's go. <laughs> Another natural 20. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 10 damage. What? Um, I mean, what? Okay. And then it says whenever I, I'm going to then use Unleash Incarnation, whenever I take an attack action, I can use one additional melee attack from my Echo's position. So my Echo will also attack. That is a lot of attacks. Okay. 23. Okay, uh, 23. Is that hit? Yeah, definitely has. Alright, so then 9 points of piercing damage. And I then... Oh, let me get that down. I have two uses of that one. Um... Do I do it? Do I do it? No, I don't do it yet. Alright. Okay. Uh <laughs> Save some for later, man. Okay, so the yeah. second... Okay, so I marked down the second attack. The... So the... the se... Sorry, the, the first attack. The second attack load does not contain your modifier, is that correct? Um, the echo, uh, it, attacks, you can use this, uh, it just, it's just exactly like me attacking. So it does use my modifier, I'm pretty sure. It just says you can use your attack action to make one additional melee attack. Yeah, no, no sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the total, uh, dam like, if the damage displayed is, like, is, is this really, like, uh... Yeah, it should be. So this is... So it's, plus, so, so it's 19 total after the first hit. Right, yeah. So 19 and then a 7, so that's... What is that? It's 26 points of damage total. He is not looking very healthy, I'll tell you that. Alright, um... It is not... It is... Okay, is that your turn? Um... 
Yeah, he's just gonna say, please put down your weapon. And then, that's his turn. Okay, um, it is the wolf's turn. Davey, you're on deck. Um, so, this wolf is, or, sorry, I can't, I need to ping that. This wolf is going to attempt to break free of the, um, webs. Uh, remind me of the spell save again, uh, Dan. Uh, it was 15. Alright, it rolls a full, natural 4, so that's 5. That's not very good. And this other wolf rolls a natural 1, so they're not having a good day. That's their action. Man, web. Alright, uh, this last wolf that's sort of been skulking in the corner is going to... run up. And, uh... through the web... So it does need to make, I think, a strength saving throw yep. against... Uh, it does make a strength saving throw, so I think that's 35 feet of its total movement. And it's gonna get up behind Jizargo. Um, no, Jizargo! Uh, it was really more interesting than the sheep, but since it's here, and it's used all of its movement, uh, it's going to take a bite at Davy or at Jizargo, uh, with a... 17 plus... Plus one? Does an 18 hit, Davy? Uh, I actually... Uh, yeah, probably. Uh... Uh, uh yeah, yeah, that'll hit. Alright. Oh, man, that's a three and a four. You take 2d4 plus two, which turns out to be nine damage. Pretty sure that was the worst single roll. Okay, and uh, it is your turn. Was wolf, the, that wolf will end its turn. Do right. we have a link anywhere to the initiative order? Like, can we put it in chat or something? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, sorry, I uh, just I, I wrote it down on a pad of paper. I will try to chat it up real quickly. Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, then Jazargo will move uh, here and uh, cast Thunder Wave. Okay. Is that a? Uh... It is a spell. Hold on, I'm go. Oh, I'm in the wrong. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the round order. I put it in the uh, general chat. Clover, you are on deck. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. there we go. Uh, okay. So they need to make a DC 15 Constitution save. Uh, sorry. Um, sorry. I was I was also typing the initial trackers of the two wolves that you're adjacent to. Uh, the three wolves. That one's dead. Or are you talking about or, the sorry, one that's the further away? Sorry, the two wolves and the and the bear. Uh, bear. Okay. Um. Okay. And you... uh, Davy, I will since you enter the web, I will need you to make a, a strength saving throw against uh, beast, uh against Dan's spellcasting DC. Um. But the bear rolls a. Uh, or keeping. You said constitution? Uh, yes. Bear rolls a 16. 15. Dang it! <clears throat> uh, wolf uh, the, the wolf to the north of you rolls a natural 16. So, 17. Oh, man. And, uh, this wolf rolls a 3, uh, plus 1. Okay, what happened? So, is this damage? Sorry, I, I don't know the spell. Yes, the okay, so, uh, it's the two that got Uh, okay, this one, it got the full blast. Okay. Uh, so these two, uh, take half of the damage, so that would be six, six. damage. Okay. Thunder damage. And then, uh, this one takes the full 13 and is pushed, uh, I believe 10 feet away. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say it's five because of the web, but it's kind of irrelevant because, yeah. you know, the wolf just dies, and as the other yeah. wolf, um, just sort of explodes into a, a rather naked man. Um, okay. Is that your turn? Uh, no. I think I would like to... Oh, did to... you make the, uh, did you make the, uh, save against the, uh, against the web, by the way? Oh, not yet. It's a strength. Uh, I mean, I was just gonna... Uh, stay here either way. Okay, well, do you want to just auto-fail it too? Yeah, yeah, okay, I don't well, You're web, but it's probably not a big deal. 
Okay, Clover, you're on. You're on. Okay, at the beginning of Clover's turn, uh, she's gonna jump out uh, off her chair and up onto the table, okay. and she's gonna stand kind of like in the middle of the table, even though I can't really represent that, and yell at the sheep to get behind her. She'll protect the sheep. Um, so I don't want to be like adjacent to it, but uh, she actually wants to shift into this position because she's small. Okay. Um, and hopefully the sheep will go uh, here in the corner. Um, so she's standing there and she's sizing up in the situation and she's actually going to um, she's going to use Scorching Ray. Okay. Um, and okay. she's going to target uh, the wolf right here. Okay. Um, okay. So that's it... just a ranged attack. Okay, cool. And I have three of them. Oh, no. Is it all the same target or can you shift it? I, I can shift it. You can hurl them at one target or several. Okay. So I'm going to do three attacks. One, two. It's not letting me do it. Did it roll in? 60. Okay, maybe I just have to. There we go. Okay, so. so... Is that it for the Scorching Ray? Yeah, so I got a 16, a 10, and a 19. Okay, a 16 definitely hits, and you said you were targeting the wolf? Yep. Alright, well, 7 damage is a lot, and that wolf is gone. Oh, okay, so if it's gone, then I can shift the other two rays. I would have shifted towards the bear. Alright, shift towards the bear. The bear has... 10 is not enough to beat the bear's natural AC, um, so it just sort of bounces off its large and furry hide with yeah. no real consequence, although it does look a little pissed off. And then the 19, however, definitely hits, and takes nine fire damage, so that yeah. is... Okay, yeah, okay, so the bear is not having a good day either, but he still looks pretty healthy. Um, okay. Editor? Kendra, you're yeah. on deck. Okay, sorry, Kendra, it's your turn. Sorry for not giving you enough uh, <laughs> right. advance notice. Uh, Kendra just like moves to the side of the orc. Okay. And then she taps him on the shoulder and she goes like, hi. And then she hits him twice with the quarter staff. Okay, uh, make your attacks. Uh, just... Can one of them be a stunning strike? Uh, yeah, that takes a key point, right? You're a monk? Ooh. Key point. But you have to hit. Yeah, it's a stun. Okay, so. Stunning strike and uh, is that a how's that mechanically? Is that a save? Oh uh, uh, yeah, please do a Constitution save for me. You have to beat four. Okay, so let's see. His armor class is exact is exactly fourteen. So the first attack just hits. Were you how are you holding this? One handed or two handed? It's two handed, which is ironically both lower. But <laughs> right. so okay, so <laughs> okay, first attack hits and the second attack also hits. Um. I'm assuming a, a five plus. Uh, I'm assuming an eight doesn't. Uh, uh, yeah, but he's is stunned. Below your DC, okay. So yeah, and then takes... I'll use another key point to do flurry of blows. Oh man, oh. he's not having a good day. Um, now you show yeah, me up. I should have actually. Twice sure. to the quarter staff, I just punch him in the nose twice, like. <laughs> okay. That's the sound, that's the sound effect of her face. Boop boop. Oh, it's a good sign for stun. Okay. Let me give you your boops. Okay, so, oh, that is a critical. Nice. Let's go. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, so that's another 12 points of damage. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. If that's my turn. Heard. All right. Um, um, yes, done. it is actually fin uh, it is actually the sheep's turn. So uh, he is going to, listening to Clover, he's going to sort of just cower, oh, no, cower in the corner. And, uh, yeah, he will ready an action to attack things with his hooves if anything gets too close, but hopefully nothing will. Oh, man, this, this oh, patron. God. I forgot about this patron. He's cowering in the corner, too. Um, okay, so that is top of the round. It is the uh, bear's turn. Um, 
Sorry about this. Uh, You're okay. fine. You're doing great. Okay. So he will like get up in. Let's see. He's gonna get. Uh, the module says he uh, attacks the front lines heavy hitters, or is at least not afraid to. So he's gonna get all up in uh, Sir Cat's face. Oh, um, hello. Let's see, and brown bears have. <clears throat> he's gonna make a bite attack and a claw attack. The bite attack is nine. Miss. Claw attack nine. is. Uh, Nine. 17. Miss. Holy, oh yeah, Warforged. I have an 18 <laughs> armor class. It bounces. Ooh, the uh, bear slaps and, and bites at you, but it bounces ineffectually off of your very hard Warforged armor. You were feeling what I felt when I was trying to kill you guys with the bar guys. Yeah, like, you get, I don't <laughs> think this bear has hit once, and I think all the... Oh man. I think I should have made you guys 4th level PCs now that I think about it. Oh, <laughs> too bad. Um, okay, so next up is Goose, and he is super pissed, um, and... You guys like him? He's stunned. I'm on video. Oh yeah, Sent uh, Sentinel Strike, he's stunned. He loses his turn. Oh yeah, he's sorry, er, uh, stunning <laughs> fist. Yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. Um, Goose loses his turn. Does the stun uh, go away after this? It goes after yeah. my turn. After yeah. your turn. Okay, thank you. At the end of my turn. Well, I, I'm not sure he'll live to see out the end of your turn. Uh, Shelly, it is your turn. Uh, uh, Circuit, it's your, uh, you're on deck. Yep. Okay. Does anyone look damaged? Um... How's Jazargo doing? <laughs> He's currently stuck in a web. Jazargo is... <laughs> Is he severely injured? Ah, no. Definitely okay. not bloody. Okay. In this case, Shelly will actually move on the side of the bear and okay. she will. <laughs> so, you see this little girl? <laughs> you see this little girl? And she reaches inside her coat and she pulls out a huge. Warhammer, <laughs> and she smacks the bear with it, <laughs> and okay. I will smack the bear with my warhammer. <laughs> okay, um, make your, is it just one attack? Make your attacks. Uh, yeah, I just have one attack. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, that definitely hits. Um, seven damage. <laughs> the brown bear is bloody. Is that your turn? Um, just a second, let me just check something real quick. Zerkat, you're on deck. Okay, yeah, that's my turn. Zerkat, it is your turn. Alright, <laughs> let's see. So, orc boy in front of me looks really bad. Davy, you're very soon, because the next turn's gonna be quick. The bear looks bad too, right? Uh, the bear look is looking pretty darn bad, yeah. It's... <sighs> Uh, Circuit's gonna say to the orc, please, again, lay down your weapon, and then I'm going to move my echo, okay. uh, behind the bear. Okay, this can I just don't... happen, right? It doesn't need to be affected by, you can just poof it out, it's not movements, is that correct? Yeah, it's, it's an, like an ethereal form, so it doesn't get okay. slowed by... Okay, so move your token, or move the, uh, echo? I can't. Oh, you can't? Oh. Okay, yeah. well, I'll, I'll try moving that to the, uh, character. There we go. Or something. All right. And I will take my two attacks on the bear. Okay. Um, right. Which, by the way, last time I forgot to add my plus two to all my damage rolls because of my oh. dueling fighting style. But I, I don't added think it this, this is going to really matter that much. Um, 19. 19 hits. And a natural 20 again. What the fuck? <laughs> right. There's been so many natural 20s in this game. All right, you so have a theory. Well, but I'll tell you in the break. <laughs> Seven right. points of damage and then... Oh, the first one, not the... I didn't mean right, to hit it first twice. first one, and, uh, okay. And then... Yeah, how do you want to do this on the bear? <laughs> ah! um, which... How tall is this bear? It is huge. It is towering over Goose, and he is a large and lanky uh, dude in and of I'm himself. Because I'm six foot... I'm six foot five. Okay, well, it's taller than you still. Okay. By a little bit. Uh, You're a pretty tall dude. Or, well, robot. Circuit will just bend down. 
I'm very sorry, and stick the rapier right through its throat, up into its brain, and then pull it out with finesse. Okay, yeah, that bear is no more. Um, how many feet did I move my, my, my echo? Uh... Only ten? Okay, um... I think that's your... I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. I think that's your action bonus action, though, unless you want to use some of your... Well, I can move the Echo without using anything. It's oh, just, really? I can do it. Okay. Yes, there's no action required. So I've only moved it 10. So I'm going to move it back behind said boyo. Okay. Um, can you move it now or not really? No. All right. We'll, we'll try to figure that out in a bit. But, okay. Um, and, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um... Davey, you're on deck, but this is, these next two turns are going to go by really fast. The uh, civilians will continue to cower in the corner, and the wolves are dead. One's alive. One's still one. alive. Oh, one's still... Oh, jeez. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I am... I'm... I'm... Okay. It's uh, the players <laughs> stay... <laughs> the okay. players stay for bloodlust. One is still alive. We must kill All right, it. Alright, so this bear... Uh, this wolf is going to use its action to attempt to make a... Or to attempt to break out of the web. Man, that web is just kind of wrecked them. Uh, it's an 18. I have the beats your modifier even without uh, its uh, things, right? Uh, what is this for? Are you hitting me? It's for breaking out of the web. Oh, sorry. 15. You're yeah, muted, Dan, Dave. Right? Dan. Sorry, yeah, it uh, was 15, so it's free, but yeah. I think if it moves anywhere, so it has to make another save. <laughs> uh, if, it en if, it's, if it enters the web or starts its turn there. Okay. Yeah. I think. Hang on, let me read I'd this real quick. Up. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yeah, it starts its turn in the webs or enters them during its turn. So, so see, I'm gonna, no I'm gonna read this as this entire block is a web, and so he can move around, but uh, he won't, or... Yeah, so he can move around after having made the check, but he won't. Um. Okay. Uh, let me roll something real quick. Yeah, because right. technically if it's... 12. Yeah, if it's he's, still in, he's still feeling pretty aggressive. So, he is going to... Let's see. It's 15... 20... 30 feet. Um... <clears throat> oh, no! Can I smack any him as he goes? Yeah, any uh, attacks of opportunity? Yeah, technically, uh, Shelly and, uh... Oh, man. Trying to think if this wolf would be that dumb. Um, well, let's say Zargon would too, wouldn't it? Depending on how you moved out of the. Uh, I said it was. Uh... Actually, hold on. He also gets an attack of opportunity from my echo. Holy crap! This is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give me a second to. This wolf is supposed to be a little smarter than that, so I'm gonna try to figure something out. And wasn't so... your echo moved behind the bear, Jonathan? I I moved it behind the bear, it, just in case I didn't kill the bear, but then I moved it back. I can oh, move okay. 30 feet in a turn. Okay. Alright, so it's going to move here. Um, that's 30 feet of its 40 feet of movement. Uh, Clover, I was it still smack it. Clover, it entered your reach, but um, did not leave. Um, so you don't get an attack of opportunity there. Mm -hmm. However, uh, so my echo. That's a no. Nope. It nope. Is no attack, or nothing. So this guy's mm -hmm. no longer webbed, but... Yeah, he uses action, so he will end his turn. Um, who's next? Davey, it's your turn. Sorry about all that. Well, I take an attack of opportunity, right? On the wolf? Uh, Unless it, it, it ran around you. It's, it, it's a smart wolf. No, well, but it, it, it was, was in right his here. range. Oh, yeah. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, the <laughs> way it ran, it, it ran past... Uh... It ran past the pile of... Oh my gosh, you guys are boxed in. Wow, I am so sorry. Um, so... <laughs> in order, Sir Kit. Um, yeah, rapier attack. Um, that definitely of hits. Ten points of damage. Yeah, that wolf tries to break free and expires. Oh, then my shame is erased. <laughs> yes, your shame never occurs. All right, um, Davy, it's like actually your turn now. I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> it's fine. fine. You're fine. Don't uh... freak out. Just don't freak out. It's okay. Uh. Oh, Clover, so, so this guy is the only one that's still alive. Yeah, he's he's the only one still alive, and he is not feeling great. Um, 
you are restrained, so you will need to make a strength check if you want to move, but, I mean, you said you just want to stay there, so I imagine there's some... Yeah, I'm thinking about it. moving, actually. Okay, well, make a... Uh, let's... It is an action to make a strength check, to, oh. be, to be clear. I think this is the only Maybe one. Not. And you're cutting out a little. What shall we do instead? Have the two people who have been concentrating on their spells not been hit at all? Uh, oh, I was nope. hit. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Although I don't but think I don't remember if it was... Well, even if it doesn't stay, Can you make a DC 10 concentration there. check? Uh, just for grin? This is why I have this yeah. on my DM screen. In highlighted letters. <laughs> uh, there's so many spellcasters this game. <laughs> I people... should have made it... Just give me a second. I mean, good. Fine. Just make a DC 10. Just make a DC 10. So 21. Yeah, yeah, so 21. the fog cloud's still there. And... What you doing, Davy? Oh, so I can go now? Alright. It, it's been your turn. Uh, We're waiting on you. Well, I was waiting on the constitution saves. Sorry. Uh, yeah. uh, Alright, we're gonna do an infestation. You. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Jazargo. Uh, this is like the flavor for it, uh, but he casts the spell and he like pretty much like scratches his armpit as like this swarm of <laughs> uh, bugs or it. random bugs. Uh, we need artifacts. Uh, like just drop <laughs> and like uh, crawl over to uh, this guy and okay, that is test him. That is, that is most unsettling. Um, is this a ranged attack? Uh, yeah, thirty okay. feet. Roll for it. Uh, yeah. Alright. He is... Oh, it's a save? Sorry, I thought it was an attack. Yeah, uh, um, constitution save. Alright, well, we'll see how this goes. He is an orc, so just be fair. But he rolls a natural 6, so that's well below that, with his plus 3 con. Um, spell damage. Alright, so this is, is that, okay, that is a 2d, that is 2d6, so that is 7 points of damage. Indeed. Okay, he is on his last legs. Uh, okay, you gonna do anything else with your turn, Jazarko? Okay, so, uh, the other thing this spell does, uh, let's see, dun, 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 dun. and it makes eye. him move 5 feet in a random direction, mm -hmm. uh, if... If it can move. Alright, uh, so he is going to roll a, all right, I'm, rolling, I'm looking at the spell description and rolling a d4 now. Yeah, he's restrained, so I, I don't think this... I, yeah, so yeah, he is restrained. He can't move. Can't he move. can't move. <laughs> Sorry, irrelevant. Okay, is that your turn? Wow. Uh, yeah, that'll end my turn then. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, Clover, your turn. Okay. Kendra, you're on deck if Goose survives this round. <clears throat> so, um... Clover standing there, uh, you're kind of like glaring at the orc who was kind of rude to her earlier, said, You'll not hurt my new friend at all! And she'll uh, splay out her hands, uh, and out of each of her fingers, um, a purple ball explodes, and it doesn't go fast, it kind of floats. It almost looks like uh, a lilac, and it kind of circles around. Um, the orc's head, and then they all drop on his head and explode as I cast a third level magic missile. Jesus Christ. You don't even roll damage. How do you want to do this? Because magic uh, missile <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I did want to cast it because I wanted to see how much... Oh. Yeah! Third level. <laughs> it, did not, it does more than that. That's no, five because... darts. Yeah, that's one level. dart. I gotta get used to... I gotta practice the... Okay. That's three plus one per level of upcast. I'm seeing yeah. why it doesn't combine it, though. For the damage? It should, because I'm casting at third, it should roll five automatically, so roll 20 is not... Well, yeah. probably because you can choose uh, which target they hit, right? Yeah. So it gives you the uh... option to roll them separately. Alright, well, how would you like to okay. finish this orc, though? Uh... Basically, they all explode around him, 
and um, all you see is like his body is completely covered in kind of like this kind of purplish dust, like uh, pollen. And then when when uh, the dust clears, uh, he's on the ground, uh, completely uh, co- coked in it, like a, a paintball or a glitter bomb exploded all over him, just prone. <laughs> hey, well, as goose expires, unlike the rest of the creatures who have just come to attack you. He does not turn into anything remarkable. He was actually just a pissed off half orc. The rest of them turned into humans? Or the rest people? of them turned into humans, yes. So they would be unconscious then? No, they're just dead. You killed them. Oh. <laughs> this I did is a bit more than just a mundane polymorph, to be clear. In case you haven't picked up on this yet. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, Rosie the barmaid comes out. Oh man, I left this. I left this civilian here just all this entire time. I was wondering about <laughs> should... that. If that person just... <laughs> they're just the hard grandma. They're just sitting here. <laughs> I've seen this before. <laughs> or hard of hearing. Has, this has the back to it. Has no idea. Yeah, what's just going like behind them. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rosie comes out, and uh, I, I assume uh, I, I, Clover and uh, uh, Shelly. I assume you're going to stop concentrating on your spells so they go away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll remove okay. it. Uh, she, she comes out and she's like, Ugh, not again. Ah, uh, man, you don't I'm... have expensive cleaners off. Oh, wait, that's the wrong accent. Oh, man, not again. I, I hate it when you guys do this. Do you know how expensive these cleaners are? Uh, I am very sorry, Rosie. Uh, unfortunately, these people attacked us first. Uh, I understand. I know how this happens. That we took it outside. Yes, Jizargo did say we should take this outside. However, they were very uh, stubborn. Yeah, well, um, I know how it happens. Um, look, uh, I, I would just ask you all to get out of here. Um, I, 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 I'm sorry. We're, we're going to have to clean out the tavern a bit. And uh, uh, it, it, it's just a bit of a mess right now. And, well, before you guys go, though, there is one thing I wanted to give you. Uh, the mayor kind of left you this. Um, she hands you a bottle of... of 1232 Wobrook Reserve. This is a very fine wine from the town. Um, so if one of you would like to just add that to your inventory, you just go fight for whoever wants that. I cannot drink. Therefore, I will not take this. Well, yeah, I- I'm real sorry, but you guys, y- y'all need to leave. Uh, you kind of messed up the disgruntled dolphin. And, uh, uh, you know, if you keep doing this, you guys can't come back. You know, you, you take your fights outside next time, if you don't mind. So, you all... Uh, Jizargo uh, will take on the burden of uh, uh, t- uh, taking the wine. Okay, so you may mark down a bottle of 1232 Wilbrook Reserve, which is just wine. Sergey just puts his uh, his shield on his back and his rapier away, and then holds his hand out and brings his echo back into his body. Okay. But, well. but Rosie, what about my Danish? L- look, uh, <laughs> I-, I feel real bad about y- y- y'all who didn't get your breakfast, but... We, we cannot operate as a, as a clean establishment right now. When there are corpses, uh, why are there even naked men on the floor of the inn? That is quite interesting. Very good question. Um, uh, should, we, should we check that orc, uh, see if he has any information on him? Uh, you can certainly try. The uh, sheep is also sort of butting up against some of you guys impatiently. Oh, wait, you guys can hear him. Um, okay, what, what do you want to do first? Actually, before I remove my fog cloud, I would like to just walk in <laughs> and okay. uh, hide my warhammer again. <laughs> okay. Then I'll just you walk out and it's no way to be seen. violation of the laws of known physics inside of the yes. illusion of, <laughs> inside of your fog cloud. It is very good at concealing this. Uh, I just hide it in my coat. I just don't want anyone to see how I do that. Even okay. though it's still a violation of physics. <laughs> okay, so, okay, what do you guys want to do first? Well, I believe she did ask us to go outside. Okay. Mr. Yeah. Sheep, may you please accompany us? Alright, let's take you guys outside, where the fight would have been if you deci- had decided to go there. Good job. We tried. Alright, so if you can just drop <laughs> oh, there they are. Ready for us. Take her plate of bacon and eggs with her. Hopefully Rosie doesn't notice. <laughs> Make a uh, stealth check. Contested Ooh, by to... Rosie's perception. I need to steal this she map. She's a commoner. 
she rolled a 12 with no modifiers. What? You're a shadow monk. How is this? This should be easy. Oh, yeah. She does not see you uh, slipping the entire plate beneath your ornate robes, which probably is a very expensive thing. Also a violation of physics. Yeah, oh, no, this one's, this one's mundane. This one's pretty fine. This one's fine. This <laughs> and it's just like, bye, Rosie. Um... Uh, so Clover would walk over and says, ah, you. Right, so you all can, this? this is just a map for flavor. If you all want to put your tokens down, sorry, Dan. Uh, if you all want okay. to put your tokens down, it's fine. I will say for the record, there are no fights breaking out, and this wolf is not supposed to be here. Okay. Yeah. So. Sorry, Dan, you were saying something. Oh, uh, before they went outside, she would have went over to the half orc and protest it because he was gross and she didn't want to like search him but ask someone else to do the searching and she would assist i assume by like hovering <laughs> over them yeah, all the bugs are probably still on there. all right who wants to do the search then who, who are you helping do the search i have a shitty uh, uh, investigation i'll do it i guess okay, okay. zargo make your search uh, while maybe this I is shouldn't. happening while this is happening and rosie was saying like uh i can know, do it we need to clean this up it's going to take forever uh circuit grabs one of the patches on his cloak rips it off and it turns into a bag of 100 gold and gives it to rosie all right well i take back what i said about the uh, about possibly banning you if there's another incident like this y'all are really good for the establishment and this more than covers the cost of the cleaners i do appreciate it, mr circuit thank you very much i am sorry for the inconvenience robot many robot useful items okay <laughs> Why are you rolling with a... Oh, yeah, sorry. Help. Okay. I'm helping. But <laughs> you just see this little girl kind of push her arms in there in the gross stuff. And she just rummages around and she comes out and they're clean, glowing. And it's just so mysterious. <laughs> okay, so... It's nothing see. there. Okay, so the... Uh... Goose had two GP in his pockets. He didn't even have enough really? to cover the, cover the cost he was bribing you with. Wait, sorry, did I miss something? Oh. Um, you see that he has very paint-flecked armor um, for some reason. He's got this various little colors, just of what appears to be this oil paint or something. Uh, just, you know, as if he has been doing some kind of, of paint in, in and of himself. Um... Nothing really remarkable, though. He has uh, some. He has his great sword. He has some leather armor. Uh, not that much to say. Um, looks like if he was carrying anything, or looks like if he knew anything important, he wasn't carrying it with him in document form. Who wants a goat? Hmm. I will give these two gold to whoever wishes for it. I'll take uh -huh. it. There you go. All right, so uh, you all head out into the sunlit streets of of Wobrook. Um, you're in a slightly nicer, sort of paved part of town, I guess, just because of the map. Jonathan, I'm sorry if this contradicts lore. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, well, and uh, ago. the sh the, the <laughs> sheep can actually still talk to you, just barely, because the spell is still the fight only lasts a few minutes, and the spell is still on. So I, I suppose you have questions. Yes, lots of questions. Very. Yes, well, I... Mm, sorry. I am the great transmuter wizard, Finithia Shinebright. An elf of great skill and power. You don't look much like an elf. I, you I, look I, like a sheep. Look, I, I know. Two years ago, my treacherous apprentice, Ahmed Noak, kind of did something to me. So, basically, I had a, a, a most wonderful wand. A wand of true polymorph. And, and it was amazing. I could just, uh, it helped me greatly in my endeavors. Uh, the townsfolk loved me. I would be able to use my great arcane knowledge and the wand, of course, to, uh, convert the, uh, to, to, uh, you know, free up local road blockages by turning all the, bu the, the boulders that were blocking them into bunny rabbits. The kids loved that trick. Um, yes, but Nelk stole the wand and used it on me. And for the past two years, I have been doing nothing but sitting outside and eating grass. Look, 
I need your help. It would seem so. We're all but here. what do you need us to do? Look, I need you to go to my home and help me recover my wand and probably dispose of that treacherous apprentice of mine, Noke. I don't like him. It's his fault. It's all his fault. Is there a reward? Um, well, I am... I am a wizard. I have no small power, and I... Uh, you, you are adventurers, and while I don't expect you to understand transplane transplaner polyweave theory i do expect you to understand treasure and i am a wizard i am just saying i surely have magical artifacts that i can give to you probably i i, I don't know what quite what note's been up to in my tower but i can take you to my tower oh because that i escaped from last night and i can or end with your help we can recover my wand Kick Noke out, and you know, probably give you guys a reward or something. I don't know. Look, I, 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 I sort of came up with this plan on the fly last time. Noke just well, yesterday. Noke was sort of missed a bit of paranoia for once, and he left the door to my pen open, and I was able to break into my own house and steal that scroll, and that's how you find me here. So, what say you? We'll definitely help you. Uh, I'm here to help any wizard that needs a lending hand. Um, how far away is your tower? It's, uh, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, uh, the spell is fading. It is approximately, uh, three or four miles from here. I, it's a short walk. Um, I, I can take you there if you need. Uh, <clears throat> what? Zago would love to. Can you carry me? I am a wizard. This is enough of an affront to my dignity already. Well, I can carry you if you'd want. Well, how dare you dare? <laughs> but she's so fluffy. Or he's so fluffy. <laughs> Make a persuasion roll. Okay. DC 12 because you are adorable. <laughs> All right, here we go. Persuasion. How tall is Clover? She's like three foot two. She weighs like twenty eight pounds. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> so, oh my goodness. He considers your argument for a moment, uh, but uh, is not swayed by it, unfortunately. How about she bats her adorable eyelashes? Uh, he. he... He he feels really guilty about rejecting your offer, rejecting your um, thing, about rejecting your proposal. That is okay, Clover. I have an idea. And he grabs on his cloak, and pulls off a mastiff patch, and a mastiff appears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sir. You can that... ride him. All right. You had that all along. Oh, he's adorable. What's his name? I do not know. He can was I a patch name him? on my cloak. Can I, I... name him? I guess. I'm going to name him, uh, let's see, Cobble. Hello, can you, Cobble. Can you help me up? Does he, does he mind? I don't think so. All right. Make an animal handling check at advantage because you are adorable again. Oh, I, I have to do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah here we go. Why not? Billy. Just for fun. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Aha, I'm using my patches. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's the fun of just giving you guys random magical items. I like how she's asking to ride the animals when she has a broom. <laughs> <laughs> Which I just oh, really yeah. remembered. You have a flying broom? <laughs> you made me waste a patch for this? <laughs> you made me waste one of my two Mastiff patches. Oh, and you have a broom? <laughs> The Mastiff yeah. is enthusiastic, but it is a very bumpy ride. As you are, are you all heading into the woods, to uh, to the direction of the tower? Uh, following wherever the goat's going. All right. Well, he's a sheep. I believe uh, that we should I... go this way towards yeah. the story arc. The way <laughs> I feel this would be handled is she gets on the dog and goes like maybe a minute, and then real or the Mastiff, and then realizes oh this is as comfortable as I thought it would be. Then hops off, takes this 
broom out of like nowheres and then hops on the broom and starts riding it. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. And, Jonathan, you're left with this mastiff now. <laughs> How long boy. did they last? <laughs> uh, I think it's just a I, a mastiff. I think just, it just is. And it I think exists it's just now. It exists it's, now. Yeah, yeah, it just exists now. So now you just have a mastiff. But Circuit is um is just petting it and try, trying to be as human as possible, but of course he's not. And he's a good boy. Okay. Pat, pat. <laughs> okay. Aggressively pets the dog. <laughs> Jazargo uh, walks uh, beside the mastiff, and uh, we'll take care of it for you. Jazargo <laughs> will take care of these for you. Okay. Thank you, Jazargo. <laughs> With your two new animal friends, you all depart for the, the woods um, towards where the sheep, Finithir Shine Bright, is leading you. Uh, and as you enter the woods, that's where we're going to take a break. Getting back into it, the sheep, Finithir Shinebright, takes you down a path through the woods, and you follow for a few miles, um, to where it sort of, the main road sort of branches off to this little hidden route in the, in the trees. Um, I mean, it's not, that, it's not that hidden, right? You can see where people have just sort of trod back and forth on this like little meander path, but it's not super well displayed in and of itself. Um, but, you know, the track continues through the sparse woodland, and there's not a whole lot of such habitation until you guys come to a fence with a crude little watch watchtower type platform on it. And uh, hanging off this watchtower platform, there's like just a little bit of like goo and viscera. It, it, it's really gross. Just like there. Yeah, it's sort of like just hanging and just dripping chilling. off, and like it. I don't. I, I don't know. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look natural. Uh, it's kind of weird and gross. Touch it. Uh, you touch it. It is very gross, and it seems to be, you know, just like it's. It's really stringy red stuff. It sticks to your finger. It smells like blood. Did you say this is like a fence? What is it again? It, there's a fence and a like tiny little watchtower type thing. Did you see what? Do we see anyone in the watch? There is nobody in the watchtower. Oh, wipe it in the grass. <laughs> How high is the fence? Sorry. How high is the fence? Uh, it's it's just like a waist high, you know, one of those like little fences with a post nailed in and then just a a beam struck. A couple beams strung across it, you know. So it's not like a, it's not a serious uh, border thing. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. gonna cast uh, speak with animals as a as a ritual. Okay. Uh, can circuit uh, investigate this liquid? Uh yeah. So make a make a investigation check. Clover would uh, just look at everyone and say, "Who wants to come take a look with me? I can just fly around." Okay. Um. How come? And you will see this little angel of a girl just kind of float in the air. <laughs> and uh, some little herself. wings on her boots. Circuit, uh, quick question. You're not proficient with Arcana, are you? I am. No, Wait. I'm not. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. Um, so you don't see anything remarkable, right? It's like, it's like this is just some, you know, the impromptu defense platform for some, you know, particularly paranoid person, but you don't, uh, there's nothing obviously out of place here other than the fact that the guard who you, you'd expect to see there is missing. The uh, little hmm. gooey stuff appears to be like this slightly dis decomposed mush, but as far as you can tell, this is just like some very large and very dead animal just died here. I am sorry, friends. I cannot ascertain as to what this is. I am flying around them, not there. Where did Clover go? <laughs> Clover's up in the air <laughs> with uh, <laughs> with Shelly. Uh, I don't know how fast you can hover, fly, levitate. I think it's just your thirty speed. feet. My yeah. normal movement speed. Oh, okay, so that's fairly quick. She's just kind of scouting and see if she can spot anything. In I assume this is the tower. Uh, this is this is just a little watchtower. Um, 
perimeter fence type deal. Do, 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 do. Should we fly to the top? Oh yes, that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. I'll race ya. And <laughs> she's like, does like the Harry Potter position when he was playing Quidditch and trying to catch the snitch. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Clover and uh, uh, Shelly make contested athletics rolls. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, not sorry. contesting. Oh, not contesting? Oh, sorry, I thought you said something. Yeah, uh, she'll go, she'll okay, go, well, yeah, well... okay, let's race. And <laughs> she'll just let her go ahead and she'll just fly at a normal pace after that. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, okay. Clover, rising before Shelly to the top of, of the, to, to canopy of this little uh, grove of trees, you see off in the distance a little clearing and what appears to be some massive house-shaped trees in and of, in and of themselves. Uh, this appears to be where Fanathia is leading you, though. Nothing remarkable in and of itself. Oh, I see houses, and they're made out of trees. Okay. I've seen this before. She's a forest gnome, so I suspect maybe she's seen house trees before? Um, yes, although this one does appear to be a rather, a, a fairly large, um, good size. Would indicate Human some yeah. spell okay. passing of great power. <clears throat> Anything else you want to do? She now secretly wants to live with this wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the, the Finithier, the sheep, is sort of just like butting up against you. Actually, wait, uh, the, the Davy uh, Gisargo, I believe you said you wanted to cast speak with animals? Yes, so if it's been ten minutes, I will speak with the sheep. Oh, good. Okay, so to be clear, only you can hear uh, Finithir talking right now. Indeed. Okay. Oh, good. You can talk to me now. What would you like to know? Uh, yes, Jizargo wonders uh, what is the best way to get inside. Uh, well, I will say first off, this little fence deal is not my doing. Uh, I think Noke put it here while I was a... Uh, uh, um, while I was... Uh, while I was a sheep for two years, I don't know what this is. So things may have changed, but I will say uh, this path, as you are, leads up to right up to the, the footsteps of my front door. Well, technically to my little garden thingy, but uh, you know, you know how it is. I have this little platform, and that leads up to my front door. Um, and then, but however, you, there are you may wish to uh, go around the side of it. Um, there are plenty of trees there to hide in, if you really want to. Uh, yes, this is very helpful. Uh, you wouldn't uh, happen to, by chance, have a secret at the now, Look, I am a very famous and very important wizard. I do not need to, w and very powerful, I, I would remind you, I do not need to waste my time with the frivolities of secret entrances and that kind of thing. Jazargo thinks uh, that there's even more reason to have a secret entrance. You probably have lots of vans okay. that you uh, perhaps need to escape to. But that is neither may... here nor there. Jazargo, you may roll insight if you want to uh, check this. Yeah, let's do that. So just so I'm clear, Shelly and Clover, not with the party anymore, right? They're, They're off by themselves. several feet above you in the trees. Okay. I'm going to say like... And... 80 feet up. So, and the rest of us are on the ground near this fence? Near the fence, watch tower thing. Watch tower thing. I'm gonna is just surveying the area. I'm gonna say right now there's not that much for you to find. This is just this really small intermediate scene. Actually, Circuit is going to bring out one of his, the pieces of paper that he has in his bag and start drawing the land. Okay. Anything else? Kendra hops over the fence. Alright. Kendra, you hop over the fence. That's it. Uh, Are we ready to go, Jazarko? Anything else from the sheep? Oh, sorry. Uh, insight. Um, he rolled an act two on the insight, so yeah, you beat him, and he seems very sincere about not having a secret entrance. Uh, okay. Like, uh, uh, like, he's, like, I think he explains it a bit further, even. As like you know, growing trees of that size is expensive and takes a lot of spell components. So why would he bother? Okay, cool. Uh, uh, just as a note, you said he rolled insight. He rolled deception. 
Okay. Uh, contest uh, is insight versus deception. Because yeah. I'm going. I'm rolling this because if I don't roll deception every time you guys roll insight, then no, that's right. I was just wondering because yeah. I, it, it would be weird yeah. if you rolled if I, insight. Yeah. If I don't contest it, then uh, then it, then you all know when I'm lying, and this is very important when you're like playing sorcerers who have things to hide. Okay, you guys moving on to uh, the house? Yeah, I'll float to the ground before we. Okay. Uh, uh, Clover, are you doing the same thing? Because they have yeah. limited time. Okay. Uh, um, Jazargo will grab the uh, sheep and climb the fence. Okay. Are Target you... will follow suit in okay. the rear. So you walk. You guys walk for about another, like, quarter mile. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty big fence, although it doesn't extend all the way into the woods. Just through this path. Um, are you guys approaching, like, sort of stealthily, like Finithir was describing, through the trees, or are you guys approaching more head-on where the path just leads naturally? Yeah, we'll go to the side where the trees are. Or right. Zarko will, and he'll tell everyone about it. Alright, are y'all going now? Circuit will follow. Okay, yeah. so... I guess... Uh, I guess, so th there's two ways you can go to the side. One, there's a few little huts there, and the other, there's, like, uh, just trees. Which one do you want to hide behind? Or hide, hide in the area of? The trees. The trees? Okay, let's bring it over to the map. All right, right. Stealth checks. If you dynamic could, lighting. It's not dynamic lighting, it's just fog of war. If you guys could, put your tokens in the, oh, this yeah. area, and uh, look... <laughs> or, yeah. And, I need to uh, figure out how to use dynamic lighting. This isn't dynamic lighting. I know, I I need to figure it out though, because I have it. And, it's um, really weird, I've tried and it's... Uh, who's controlling the Mastiff, cool. by the way? I think we're leaving the Mastiff outside. You're leaving the Mastiff? Uh, okay, so you, you tie the Mastiff up out, uh, yeah. a little past the border wall. Okay. Okay. Back to the Finisier token. No! It's the I most important question. token. He's very, he's, he's tiny and adorable. <laughs> I think okay. Dan said he had some questions. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I just wanted to know if the time to get here would have allowed someone that was uh, leisurely laying on their broom to have a short rest. <laughs> I'm going to say you guys can uh, have considered a short rest before you had departed. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, welcome to the house in the woods. Does a short rest for me... I mean, it's a long rest. I forgot. Uh, it means you get like your action surge back, but I don't Why? Think you use that. All right. So, rather than stone or glass, the house before you seems to have been formed from the living branches of four sturdy oak trees. These have been shaped and woven to create three thick platforms. The lowest of these platforms is roughly 40 feet across, and sits about 10 feet from the ground. And the only obvious route up is a gentle slope formed of roots uh, and branches that connects roughly with the main path. Branches curl around its base, creating a rough bowl shape around it. From where you stand, it's possible to see flowers and small trees growing around its edge. By far, the largest of, three, of the three platforms is the middle one, which looks to be about 60 feet across. It is about 20 feet above the ground and is fully enclosed with a wall formed from twisting branches. You can see evenly spaced, window-sized gaps as well as what appears to be a door with a, at the point closest to the garden platform. So, here. Uh, the, fall, the final, tallest platform is roughly 30 feet above ground and is much smaller than the others. It looks to be linked to the central platform by another smaller slope. Scattered beneath the platforms are two small wooden huts, so these two guys, here, and a large outhouse, here. So, as you guys enter this scene, you see a uh, uh, sort of in uh, in, the, in the shadow of all this madness, you see a trio of apes sitting on the ground playing with a pair of oversized dice. And they've got these uh, large greatswords stuck, stuck into the soil next to them. Hmm. Okay. So this, this platform is raised off the ground, right? Yeah. So it's, it's like the, surrounded by like yeah, a tree. The, yeah, that was like 10 feet up. Okay. And the Are we rolling up. stealth checks or anything like that? Not sure. Not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say everyone roll stealth just to see how well these gorillas perceive you. Apes. <laughs> I have chainmail. I have disadvantage. You're far off though, so they have. Uh, um. Sorry. 
Uh, you you guys are far off though, so they have disadvantage on their perceptions. Why are you all rolling with with advantage? I rolled with disadvantage. Uh, I have chain mail. Okay, so it's just toggle on. Just okay, take so the first roll. Just take the first roll. Break it over. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Circuit. Circuit. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, baby here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting caught up in this music. It's it's amazing. <laughs> Your wait. video turned off, Davey, unless you meant to do that. Which is wait, 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 wait. Chainmail gives you disadvantage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah on stealth. It's heavy armor. Okay. Do you have chainmail too? Down. Take the second one then. Right. Oh! Oh shit, it's a zero. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just checking to make sure I don't have any. Uh, Extra stuff for fur blog doing stuff. Okay, well, the rules were uh, six, nine, and ten, but I think and zero. <laughs> Shelly, sort of clunking, clunk, clunking around in her armor, uh, makes a rather loud ruckus. So a couple of these apes are very curious and taking the buddy system, you know, they just sort of go up to the platform to peer around at you. Shelly, please try to be a little quieter. I am sorry. And, uh, you know, they, they, they come down and they peer at, at a lot of you. Um, you know, they, they, they notice that something's up. There's a bunch of strange people who have not taken the main route into the house. And so they're like, well, what are you guys doing here? You're, you're probably not very good. They're not saying this. You're just, you can just read in their very, uh, prime, uh, in their primate expressions. <laughs> That, you know, this is, like, it, it seems, you know, not very, they don't seem pleased by this unwelcome intrusion. And as they hold their, uh, I think they're great swords, are they great swords? Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, as they hold their great swords in their hands, you can see they're just sort of readying for kind of funny business with, um, those of you who are here. And one of them sort of just grunts something out, uh, very loudly. And, uh, you know, are you guys going to do anything? Hello, primeval apes of nature. My name is Circuit. <laughs> <laughs> they just My name is Shelly. <laughs> we have come here to uh, return what has been stolen. What's all this ruckus? And as you um, guys are trying to negotiate with the apes, the person they seem to have been some... So, I forgot about this. The person oh, man. Summoning, uh, Is that the guy from Rocky and Bullwinkle? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, uh, the, the, a very uh, rather elderly, wizardly looking man in, in long gray robes uh, comes out and he's like, What is all this ruckus out here? You, uh, guards, uh, George and Bill, what is going on? And they just sort of, the, the apes just sort of look at you and uh, look at the, at, at the, uh, old man, and they look at you, and then they look at you, and they just grunt again. <clears throat> man, I kind of regret not, or I, I kind of regret not making you guys something that can speak. Like uh, parrots. <laughs> Alright, so, no, um, this guy is out here, um, are you guys gonna approach him, or are you gonna try to stay hidden, sort of, although... Circus, Circus is gonna go out and be like, Hello, are you Ahmed Nook? So are you going Knock. up the platform, Knock. or are you, are, are you guys circling around the platform, to be clear, or are you, uh... How high is the platform again? Ten feet up. The, the first okay. platform is ten feet up, so he's looking down on you right now. Actually, oh. hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Just because this would be hilarious. Can, can I cast my echo up there? It's not necessarily the greatest idea, because you will probably... He's a rather... He strikes you as a rather paranoid man, so, um... You know, he might consider this an he might consider this a threat. You know what? It's circuits, you know. He doesn't Second, know. I think you're muted, by the way. And um, yeah, no, like... Eva, um, being um, small and uh, in stature, could uh, Clover kind of rush up to the base of the platform and kind of edge around, uh, hopefully unseen. Uh. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. 
Okay, so Circuit just, yeah, he says, Hello, are you Ahmed Nook? Yes, I am the great transmuter, Ahmed Nook. What do you want? Oh, sorry, I did not mean to mispronounce your name. We are here on business to, uh, talk to you. Wait a minute. He, he, he looks past you a bit. Is that my sheep? I believe so, yes. Look, okay, well, that's very fortunate. Just return him to me now, and you will not have any trouble. In fact, I we will have... pay you ten whole gold for your trouble. Well, nah. that is not a lot of gold. There are five of us. Twelve whole gold. Look, I'm a little, stra have to be more I'm a little strapped for cash right all. now. We have been uh, informed that you have stolen this tower from said sheep here. And he points to the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> said sheep? Okay, how, how dare you accuse me? Um, this is no more than a dumb animal. I am sorry, but I did not accuse you of anything. Sheep you accuse you. I am death. relaying infor- <laughs> Look, uh, you, you're here. You're working for him, aren't you? You've come for me. Unless you have more gold. <laughs> uh, Zarago uh, remembers that the sheep says that you were actually his assistant. Is this true? So, it comes back to shine bright. You know what he is, then. You know, he's a pompous ass. You know... Okay. Uh, Clover would like to hop on her broom and dash to the door of the tower if it was left open. Okay. Make a... Oh. Are you trying to be stealthy, Dan? What's that uh, mean? Run. Not... Do, 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 no. do, 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 like, run. hearing the kind of, like, the, the breakdown and stuff. She's obviously can hear it. Um, okay. She's like, um, oh, maybe I can help by doing this. And she would zip. Uh, I mean, I could try to do it yeah, stealthily. Yeah, the, the door is not o the door's open, or at least not shut so forcefully that you'd have trouble getting in there. And okay. a second to... Oh, she's terrible at stealth. She's probably like... <laughs> I mean, okay. She can't help but be exhilarated okay, by... Okay, yeah, you can, be, you can be, like, here, I'm going to say, if you want... Well, she as, as soon as she gets in there, she wants to like lock him out of his tower. Oh, well, Noke sees you doing this, and he's really pissed off. He's like, he's still in the middle of his rant a little bit. It's like, okay, you know, look, what the, what's, what, uh, what's that freaking gnome doing? Okay, look, I will tell you something. Noke is an ass. He tried. You know how he treated me when I was an apprentice. He treated me like dirt. He made me cook and clean and recite spells by rote memorization. And he said it was because that's how he did it, how he learned it. And That sounds pretty standard. It's terrible. And some of us are not elves with a century to spare. That is correct. I am a warforged. Jazargo yes. can sympathize with the not liking cleaning. Look, you have five seconds to get off my property, and you, he says, pointing at the locked door, get out of my house! Apparently this is not your property and or is it your house. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Uh, you can ask Jazargo all you want, but uh, Jazargo will not be. Okay. Unfortunately, um... we have been commissioned to help uh, sheep here. You... Will not take my position, my house, my work. You will not let that man, that idiot, shine bright. He will not dominate me once more. And uh, he pulls out a wand. Uh, uh, or sorry, no, he doesn't pull out a wand. He starts gesturing at you, and I need you all to roll initiative. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, I'm so thankful that I already said that I'm floating. <laughs> oh, you're po Sorry, was it possible to, to have the door locked when uh, I flew past it? Yeah, um... I'm gonna say he's a very How did paranoid... this happen? I'm gonna say he's a very paranoid man and he always has his key on him. So, <laughs> no. Ah, uh, I rolled a Oh well, yeah, it can still be locked, but, you know... He'd have okay. to get unlock it. Unlock it. <laughs> I don't... I don't need this! I'm a healer! 
Alright, no parole's in 18 plus... Are you? Kind of. No parole's a 20. Okay. Oh my... Ooh! Uh, the apes roll... A 6 plus... <laughs> 2. So oh man, thank god hey, I didn't I'm use my action all, surge. All my bad rolls out of the way on initiative right. and yeah. subtext. One, yeah. uh, one of the unseen entities rolls... 12... What? Plus... Uh, uh oh. Or an unseen entity... Rolls a 12, plus, uh... Guys, we didn't check for unseen entities. <laughs> uh, plus 2, so it's a 14. Roll to see unseen entities. <laughs> and, uh... You're gonna say that every see, time we so come into a room there. now. Parties are here. Finisir. <laughs> Finisir yeah, will roll be... a, uh... 12, I think. This is modifier plus 2. Oh, I should roll Can this that. sheep cast magic? Is he gonna help us? No, uh, you, you can't cast somatic components with hooves. Oh, he just rolls a 10. Okay, sorry. No, well, he rolls a 12. Um, I mean, Doctor Strange... Show us Something that you don't really component. need the fingers. Okay, so uh, 25 <laughs> to 20. Uh, no. No? no? Uh, 15 to 20. 19. Okay. Yeah, uh, 15. You... I've uh, been rolling 15? pretty Sorry, well. Just out of go has 15. Okay. Uh, 10 to 15. No one? No one? Oh my god. Five to ten. I mean, I technically still fit in there. Nine. Uh, Clover has a six. I got a seven. Okay, guys. Jonathan, you said you rolled a seven? I rolled a seven. Okay. And, uh, did I miss anyone? Clover has a six. Clover yeah. has a six. Alright. Dan, come back. We can't see your beautiful face. Alright, so this, these guys are all beautiful tensing and ready face. for combat, so I don't think anybody here was surprised, or should be surprised. All right. No. Surprised so, at how that uh, encounter, the talking went down. <laughs> how right. much we talked to me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So first is. What is so you hear a cute voice? First Sorry. is Ahmed Noak, and he will take. You know he likes Star Wars. <laughs> he will try <laughs> to get back in his house, basically. Uh, Dan? <laughs> Wizard is next to you. Yeah, I see that. Sorry, I... There's a little dispute about me time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You should resolve it. Me time is very important, I think. Sixty feet. And, uh... Sixty. And I have to see through the door. But if I move this way... Give me a second. Yeah. I... Here. Alright. Oh, look, yeah. Clover's on your wall. I didn't even notice that, Dan. Yeah. Alright. That's all my favorite art is up on my wall. Okay, yeah. so Noak is going to cast Haste on this ape. Ah, oh, shit. And I think that's his turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, could you imagine haste on a fighter? Shelly, it is your turn. Uh, Jazargo, you're on deck. Okay, I will. Wait. I will float over here. Uh, just five feet away from the platform. Okay. Um, and I will cast hold person on this noke person. Do you have range for that? Yeah, it's a 60 foot okay. range. Okay, hold person. Yeah, so that's um, wisdom saving throw against DC 14. Okay, DC Why 14. is it 14? He rolls a natural plus... 2. So 8 plus your spellcasting modifier plus 2. Or plus your proficiency. So that's. Oh, yeah, it's a 14. He rolled a natural um, 2, so it's a moot point. Haha! <laughs> so. What happens is. Um. On a success, when you wait, choose that you can see. So I'm basically just holding, right? Yeah, so he's just paralyzed and has certain disadvantage on checks. Yeah, he's paralyzed. All right, basically. Okay, um, yeah, I will get to that in a minute. Um... That's it for me. 
it will be like um, a divine hand just kind of protrudes from her chest and and, and like extends and grabs him. Alright. He is restrained. Woohoo. Or paralyzed, sorry. Um still concentrating though. Yes, I'm concentrating. No, he is also still concentrating. Uh, oh, I am also concentrating. I think. Okay. Uh, oh, Jazargo, is, our, is that your turn? Sorry, Shelly? Yes, that's my turn. Okay, Jazargo, it's your turn. Baby? Yeah, yeah. Uh... All right, here's 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 what we're gonna do. Uh, so, uh, dumb question, but uh, I'm guessing we can't see the unseen uh, people. You have no <laughs> clue who they are. <laughs> I mean, obviously there are like there are the huts in the outhouse, but they're a bit of they're a bit of ways away. Like uh, it's yeah. one place where you might technically hide people. There are bushes and trees. It's another place. So you haven't explored the full extent of the floor. tower. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, go up there uh, oh, and uh, uh, climb up onto the platform. Okay. Do you have enough? Okay. Where do you start? Say again. Uh, started right here, but I also have uh, some spider climbing slippers. Oh, okay. Um, so, okay. Um, Ouch. Is that We're all also movement? mobile. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's so uh, that's all my up. movement. Okay. Uh, wait then, till my turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna wild shape. Okay. What are you wild shaping into? Uh, it... there's a lot of beasts. It's a giant frog. I don't know if it's uh, called something. It's a... Uh, it's a giant frog. It's a giant frog. Is it just giant frog? It's a dire frog or giant frog. <laughs> All right. so... Giant dire frog. <laughs> giant dire frog. Oh, gosh. Okay, so you are a giant uh, frog. What do you want to do? Um, Is that your action or bonus action? No, it's a bonus action for okay. me. Uh, da, da, da. The compendium. Oh, there is a giant frog. Yeah. Oh, giant toad. That's what I, I I wanted to be specific. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. But also there's uh, something called frog hemoth. And uh, <laughs> like that's a <laughs> higher challenge rating than I can do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a bite. Okay. Yeah, it's just the ape who's next to you. Yes. Okay. Bite that ape. Woohoo! Alright. Bite him. And, uh, okay, that definitely hits. Okay, I need to get my. And, uh. The target is also grappled. Okay. Uh, kind of just like Yoshi'd him. What? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. What were we gonna say, Saki? No, I was just gonna ask, is it an immediate success? Uh, yeah, I think if it, I think if it hits, it yeah, grapples, it, right? Yeah, it doesn't say... Uh... Oh, and it also says, until this grapple ends, the target is restrained, and the toad can't bite another target. Yeah. Okay. Uh... <laughs> so you just have this ape in your mouth. <laughs> oh, it gets better. It's, like a giant ape. <laughs> it's about to get better on the next turn, believe me. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be it for me. Okay. And, uh, that's five piercing, seven poison for a total of twelve damage. Alright, good. Now I know what to throw at you guys. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... It is... Oh, shoot. I think I did something wrong in the, in, in the order. Oh, wait, no, I didn't do anything wrong in the order. Uh, <laughs> what is this question mark? Who's Q? It's pro probably the uh, unknown entity. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, it's uh, um, uh, the second character. Sorry, I, I messed something up. Really? Ah, uh, Kendra? No, sorry, just in the initiative I typed in the chat. 
Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, um, it is uh, just suddenly bursting out of this uh, little area. You guys see uh, bursting out of the outhouse. You see standing on its hind legs as if it had just take, finished taking care of business. A brown bear. <laughs> More bears, why, and why not? Why bears again? Apes and wizards and bears, oh my. So why is that? Because why not? Okay, it'll move like that. Ah, and, uh... Eat some bear! It's actually going to... It will hold its act, or it, it's gonna do something. Sorry. Pretend I didn't say that. Oh. Alright. It's gonna do something. Alright. It is, uh, that's its turn. Uh, it is Finithir's turn. He is going to go hide in some bushes. Not gonna do anything particularly remarkable. Damn you, sheep! It is all the ape's turn. Okay, so. Uh, this hasted one. Oh god, it's gonna punch us four times. Actually realizing that something, or this hasted one is, I mean, again, these animals are very intelligent. Um, they're actually not really just animals. Um, so, it is going to pick up two rocks and uh, hurl them at the uh, mage who just uh, did something at its boss. So this is, a, this is an improvised attack, um, or improvised weapon attack. Um, the shamelessness. Okay. Um, and since it's it's hasted, it does get two actions on its turn, so it's gonna make. Uh. Okay. Oh wait, no, it does have a rocket attack. Never mind. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. It's not improvised. It's just a rock attack. Um, it will a make. A rocket attack. It will make two <laughs> yeah. rock attacks at Shelly. Um, so the first being a nineteen. Yeah. The second being a uh, 14. No. Okay, so one of them hits, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, uh, so it does... 1d6 plus 3. <sighs> it does 6 points of damage and make a DC 10 constitution check for to see if you maintain concentration. No! No! Nope is freed. Oh, oh no, no! I was going to do something so cool! Ah. These are smart apes. <laughs> okay, this one is restrained. Does he get a... Okay, he is going to try to use his, uh, sorry, the, the, the ape currently in the giant frog's mouth is restrained. He is going to attempt to make a DC 11 escape. 13. DC 13? Yes. Uh. Mm, yes. It says it on the, the thing that's rolled on roll 20. Okay, weird. The Beyond 20, or D&D Beyond says 11 for some reason. Okay, we'll go with your thing. Uh, he fails. Um, this ape which has been inching up closer, is going to, let's see, run up here, and uh, he, he's going to try to defend the boss's house, and he is going to make a couple of greatsword attacks. So, uh -oh. Clover. Goodbye, Clover. <laughs> does a, that is a natural 20. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> That's where all those went. And, uh. That is a 6, which I'm assuming doesn't hit. No, but the crit oh. does. Okay, so. Yes, the crit will definitely hit. Yeah, and it's a great sword crit, not a fist crit. So. That's, so, that's a pair of natural ones. Followed by. <laughs> what? It does seven damage. Forty-six <laughs> plus three. It does seven damage. Welcome to being the DM. <laughs> okay. So disappointed. Okay, and uh, bursting out of the guardhouse or, or one of the huts nearby, you guys hear another bunch of apes, and they just sort of come out here. Uh, and uh, look to join the battle. Uh, they're a bit of a ways away. Actually, no, they can take the dash action. What am I saying? Uh, so this guy will take another 25, 30. Oh, Lord. 25, 30. Wait, that's too many. Sorry. Ah. 
I dropped down an extra token. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, who's next? Oh, oh. No, this is last time. Uh, uh, no, Kendra, sorry, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, um, circuits, you're on deck. Okay, I, um, I need to try to help Shelly, so could I try to stealthily use Step of the Wind to take a bonus dash action and doubles my jump to arrive like... Actually, do I need uh, a dash action? I mean, I'm gonna say no because the uh, the apes are looking at you, and so if it requires stealth, although I need... Give me a, give me a second to just look over the uh, rules here. You For kind sure. of have to disappear into thin air. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'll just I'm, I'm gonna say that. But I'll still dash and double my jump to arrive here. I'm going to take away how the roof thing like this. Like here, here, then here. Uh, that is 10 feet up, so you'd need to climb. Okay. Do you have enough climb speed afterwards? Like, like if you took the dash I... action, then climb is, uh, it basically costs 20 feet of movement to get up that 10 foot platform. Yeah, I also have enough. You have enough? Okay. That's your action. Uh, do you have a bonus action? That's my climb? bonus action. Oh, that's, that's your bonus, bonus action. Okay. I point, spent the I key point. Okay. And then I'll just uh, attack this gorilla once, gorilla uh, ape, and then try to use a stunning strike on it. Okay. Um. Yo. Yo. Uh, okay, make an attack. Nice. And then make a constitution saving throw for the stunning strike, please. Alright, so he DC takes... 14. Are, you, are you doing this attack one-handed? Two-handed, two always two-handed. Two okay. Um... And he makes a con save. What's the DC on the con save? Like 13? 14? 14. Uh, natural 20. I mean, uh, I'll think. Like, he's in a pretty bad spot, to be clear. Uh, I'll attack him once again. Uh, okay. And, uh... That's uh, another... Uh, that hit. That does not... Or, that does hit, sorry. Um, for 5, he is bloodied. Okay. And yeah, that's my turn. Okay, um, uh, go, go, uh, Circuit, you're on deck. Or, sorry, you're, you're playing. Yeah, sorry, you're playing. Oh, it's me? Oh. Okay, hold on. Alright, um, let's see. This guy's grappled, right? Uh, which this one? Guy? Yeah, the ape is currently... Hold on, let uh, me change it. I'm, I'm silver. There we go. This guy. Yes. Okay, and then this guy is hasted, right? Yes. What's my movement speed? My movement speed is... What is it doing? You know, why are you like this? Okay, so my movement speed is 30. Let me read this real quick. Okay. I'm going to use my movement. 10 feet, and then I jump 10 feet. I can get 10 feet up, right? Do I have to make any checks? Uh... Can jump ten feet. The not jump ten feet. Do I do I need to make a check to climb up this? Oh, uh, I've just been doing this like double movement. I think technically. Yeah, it should be double movement unless you wanted to make a check to. Yeah, I think, uh, the, go I against think the, it. I, I'm gonna say that the 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 structure of this house, the little roots and everything that this little uh, tree house thing is constructed of, it's enough that you can just do things. Like it, it just works. Okay. So then I would get here because that would be 30 feet. Okay. It's, yeah. Um, this guy's haste. Yeah. This guy's grappled. This guy grappled. That means I get advantage on attacks, right? I believe so. Sweet. So. Uh, technically, uh, actually, technically it's just dropped to zero. Uh, advantage on attacks is restrained. And those are confusingly distinct conditions. So it is just what? speed to zero. Well, he's restrained at the same time, isn't he? Restrained? Yeah, I think that that's uh, part Jack, of Davy's. When you're that... grappled, I think you're also restrained, which is weird. Well, no, I think it, it's just for mine that he's also restrained, yeah. so you would have so... advantage against it. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, the frog restrains him. Sorry, yeah. Wild All right, change. so Circuit grabs at his chest again and throws a shadow of himself behind this okay. guy. Yep. Um, uh, which is my bonus action. Uh, I'm going to take two strikes at said ape boy. Okay. Um, okay. At advantage? At advantage, yes. 25. Okay. And a natural 20 again. 
Okay. Um, roll damage. Okay, so that's 7, and then the natural 20 roll, 15. Yeah, that And ape, then... That, I think that's an irrelevant point, because that ape just freaking dies. Dang it, Jonathan. <laughs> I was going to do a thing. Why didn't you attack the hasted one? Well, because that one's got to have advantage on attacks on that one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stole my kill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> um, okay. Is that your... Do you have anything else you want to do? I'm trying to figure out if I want to do this. It's a bonus action. When you take an attack, you can... Um... Clover, you're on deck. Yeah. No. That'll be my turn. Okay, cool. Clover, what would you like to do? Sorry, um... Clover, like, That's seeing good. the situation has changed dr dramatically and, like, looks at where she's been, like, cleaved with the great sword. Um, she kind of, like, glares at the ape and, like, you're making me very angry! And she is going to, as a bonus action, um, how, are there large branches in that tree where the echo is? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, sure, let's say there are. Misty step about um, 10 or 15 feet up into the tree onto a branch. Okay, so you're about 20 feet up overall. Yeah, nice. and she um, extends her index finger and points uh, where she was just standing, and you guys would see a little spark zip down and hit the floor and immediately ignite as she casts Fireball. Nice. Oh no! Oh at that location, God. sculpting it away um, because she can sculpt her Kendra. fireballs now. Understood. Yeah. Okay. Kendra. The, so, so it hits, but she's uh, but she makes, but Kendra automatically makes a save. Yeah, it says that even if okay, uh, cool. if she fails uh, her save, she can um, take no damage instead of half damage because it's sculpted. But if he was held, Dope. I would auto crit it on the hit. <laughs> Which is oh, okay. I know. Yours, okay, uh, so this is a dexterity, correct? So second roll dexter. Or... What's yeah. the point? Yeah, second right, one so is take damage anyways. So automatic succeed is fine. Next. Yeah, yeah. To clarify, is this automatically is this automatically succeeds and then and then uh, takes and then if they uh, have something like evasion, they take no damage. I think that's how yeah, it works. So, so no let me... rolls a natural fifteen. Uh, and has positive dexterity modifier, I'm pretty sure. Ow. So, I get to choose uh, a number of creatures that equal 1 plus my spell level, and they okay. automatically exceed on their saving throws against the spell, yeah. and they take okay. no damage so, if they normally would take half. Okay, so... Okay, so yeah. Noak makes a save, so he takes half. Oh, 14, yeah. The ape does not make a save, and I'm pretty sure he just freaking dies. Incinerate it. Uh, oh, yeah. And anything combustible, unfortunately, catches you mean fire. The entire house. Well, the tree? entire wooden tree <laughs> catches fire. Um, yeah. He's... The sheep in the back is like, no! <laughs> He'll fix it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a yeah, wizard. The, the sheep is just bleeding. With... Um, okay, so, Kendra, did you make the save? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, auto save. Yeah, what I'm saying. So Kendra takes 14 points of damage. The ape takes well over its total of hit points and just freaking dies. Noak um, is rather badly hurt, but he is alive. Wait, I still take damage? Sorry? Are we gonna fuck each other up so much? Uh, so fireball, you take damage on, fireball, you take half damage on save, right? Yep. I thought, like, the sculpt spell. Or his sculpt effect, spell means he doesn't. Makes a save. And, and if he, he doesn't. Helps... Sculpt spell, if you're successful in the save, you take no damage. Oh, really? Sorry. You automatically succeed, and you take zero damage when you would usually take half. Okay, so no damage then. Okay, cool. Um, wizards, man. Um, okay, so that is the round. No, seeing that's. In this one short round, that all that was, two of his allies have been slain. Um, Concentration. 
Oh yeah, for haste. Oh he has yeah. To concentrate for haste. Okay, yeah, um, definitely. Um, Good call, Sekium. <laughs> it's to be the 20s? 16. Where did I put my D20s? Oh, no, a 10, one. right? It's okay. to be the 10. It has to be to be the 10 or. It has to be if... the DC 14 because that was a 28 damage, and oh, yeah. that that's a natural three. So the haste <laughs> on the gorilla is dropped. And he's stunned. The gorilla is stunned because haste drops. The gorilla is stunned, thank you. Please yes. remind me of that. Wow. I remember that because I would get hasted in one of my games and okay. would drop it and stunned and be like, son of a bitch! No. All these <laughs> mechanics is crazy! Yeah, no, seeing all his uh, allies uh, down in short order, he's going to use his bonus action to cast Expeditious Zone Retreat. Fireball. Ah, wow. he can run very fast. He's a very fast boy. So he disappears into the darkness here, doing something. And Your house it... is on fire. You have nowhere to run. Yeah. Is that thing still on fire? The house is still on fire. Um. So yeah, how he... are we going to get in? Don't worry. We'll see. I um, got an I'm idea. I'm gonna say uh, have a plan. Kendra... Well, I got an idea too, but, but I don't want to waste the spell. <laughs> Kendra, can you make a perception check, please? Yeah. Okay. Clover didn't really think that spell out. She just got <laughs> mad that she got hit. <laughs> That's good. Okay, um, so, Kendra, you do That's see no very dark, very briefly between the, th the large second platform and the uh, third platform. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> um, Shelly, it's your turn. Uh, Desargo, you're on deck. Oh, I should be battle music. What am I doing? So here... Nice. Great. Hmm. Here's the deal. Since he's running away and we still have to deal with these things. There's not much of them, though. I'm gonna do it. Okay. So I'll float about five feet above them. Okay. Over here. And... I will activate my radiant consumption. <gasps> okay. Oh God! As you see, this little girl so far, and she's been very meek and oh. almost closed eyes, and suddenly she opens her eyes, and it's just they're just like glowing from the inside out. Okay. And she she's opens like her mouth to speak, and her mouth is also glowing from the inside out. It's a very disturbing sight. Okay. And she says something like, It's very uncivilized. And, well, that happens. Um, is anyone injured from what I can see? Nope. <sighs> okay. So, I'll just do that then. And, um... So, what happens is... Um, anyone within um, 10 feet of me while I do this... Which should be just these two guys. Circuits there, um, too. Circuits there. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, thank god it's not my echo. My it's echo's fine. <laughs> um, each creature within 10 feet. Uh, so you take... Um, two... No, rounded up. Is three. Three radiant damage. Three takes three radiant damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it looks like it I, says you take the radiant damage. Yes, as Yes, well. I also take it. <laughs> <laughs> I also do take the radiant damage. Right. The ape is bloodied. The brown bear is because it's camp. burning me. <laughs> and the rest of you, uh, uh, I guess Shelly and uh, the circuit, if you could uh, take that damage. Okay. You want to yep. do anything else? Mm, no, okay. I'll leave it at that for now. Zargo, it is your turn. Hmm. <laughs> well. Okay. Uh, Just go. Uh, I'm Just guessing uh, if. I'm sorry, David. I screwed up everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat that ape. Eat the other one. 
Yeah, but if I come within 10 feet of this thing, it's going to hurt me, right? Uh, no, it's because they're in 5 feet reach and I'm 5 feet away from them uh, floating. Yeah, you're out of the reach. So even if well, you yeah, come... Yeah, but if I move forward, I'd be within 10 like, feet of you. Like, if you come here, or here, or here, or here, you'll be safe. Alright. I'm gonna come here and, uh, bite this boy. Okay, uh, make your attack. Alright, so it is a 13 to hit. That does in fact hit. Yes, I'm off work. And how would you like to do this? Because I'm pretty sure that dude just straight up died. Yeah, definitely five All right. eight. Uh, he's actually going to swallow him whole. <laughs> you swallow him whole? That's probably going to wreak havoc on your digestive system when you get back to Oh, that. no. It won't. There's a bunch of acid in there. <laughs> okay. Um, you going to do anything else on your So camera? much acid. Uh, I will uh, hop. Uh, the rest of my speed. Okay. Uh, to... Yeah, so basically a, a giant tongue uh, snaps out, entangles him, and <laughs> retracts uh, into the giant toad, and he swallows him whole. Okay. Ribbit. And does a big burp. Okay. Is that your turn? Your yeah, that'll be it for me. Okay, uh, hey, can you, uh, you're gonna be can next. Be next. Second year, my second, second A little bit, by the way. A little bit, by the way. Um, Kenya, you, you're gonna be next on deck after these NPC turns. Um, okay, it is the brown bear's turn, I believe. Yeah, brown bear. Um, and it's. Oh, I forgot about the brown bear. Yeah, well, the milk was supposed to cast enlarge on it if he got the time, but you know. Um, uh -uh. But, will, but it will be super freaking pissed at all this, and it will. Shelly, you're up in the trees, correct? So you're like a little, like, ten or so feet I'm up? From... Five feet above them. Five feet above them? Okay, he's just gonna go and uh, snap at you uh, okay. with a bite. Can I just say, as he looks up, He's only seeing the shoes, because her yeah, dress is so legs. freely, he's it's kind of like coming legs. out of the co yeah. Okay. <laughs> bite at your legs your feet. With a uh, 16? Oh, no. sorry, 17. No. And a... 22. Yes. Alright, the claw attack hits for 2d6 plus 4 is... 11 damage. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, I don't think there's anything interesting that Brown Bear can do. Um, now, a lot of these apes have seen their, uh, oh, oh wait, it's Finithir's turn. Finithir is going to, like, go up to, he's got 40 feet of movement, he's going to go up to the base of his, of this tower, and just sort of start panicking and just bleeding, and very clear, um, he, he's very clearly not having a good time with the fact that his house is now on fire, because someone threw a fireball at it, so it's just like, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's Casualties plan. of war, my friend. Okay, the apes, the remaining apes, they've all seen their friends die at the hands of you brave adventurers. So let's see. I'm gonna roll some things. Eva, I was reading as a forest gnome, I actually understand small creatures. I don't know uh, a sheep is considered small or medium, but <laughs> just throw it's that medium. out there. It's medium okay. on the stat block, I believe. He uses the stats of a pony. Uh, okay. uh, a miniature pony. Alright, so one of these gorillas panics and starts leaving off towards the forest. Um, he appears to no longer be- oh, that's not right. He appears to no longer be interested in fighting you guys. Uh, two of these guys, though, will bound up the platform and get into the face of... Giant toad. Toad, toad. So it's a toad. Yeah, that's that's finicky. Ribbit. I'm sorry. Um, two of these will bound up and will try to take a couple swings at Jazargo. Because he's the closest. 
Um, oh, it's probably gonna work. Sorry? It's probably going to work. Yeah, and I'm wielding <laughs> great swords, so this is four attacks. Fifteen, or sorry, uh, twenty, twenty-two. Um, that's a natural one, and uh, eighteen. Is that three hits? Three of three of those will hit. All right. So great sword attacks are two d six plus three. That's a uh, seven. Uh, eleven. And, uh, nine. Alright, total of twenty-seven. Yep. That hurts. You doing okay? Are you still in frog form? That's that's rude. Yeah, yeah I'm he still, is in, still frog. in frog form. That's true. Nice. Very rude. Uh, definitely bloodied, though. Drew it! In frog form. And then you drop frog form and you go back to your regular HP. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> great. <laughs> you tank! Um, no, yeah, so you're not having a good day. Uh, it is, uh, 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 uh I'm sorry, uh, Kendra's turn. And you're, you're muted. still muted, Sekium. I'm just gonna move to the ape, ape, and attack four times using a key point. Okay. Oof. And your attacks? Get them. Oh my gosh! Jeez! Right. Um, just going off on them. Four of those hits. Four of those five attacks hits. Um. Wait, sorry. The last. Ignore the last one. That was. It. Okay. Well, still, that is three. three. <laughs> that is well over how much an ape can take. And like so many other animals you see today, this one just sort of explodes back into a human. Okay. Nice. Is he only turning humans? Sorry? Is he only turning humans? He has a wand of true polymorph. But is he only turning humans? Is he using any other people? I mean... Are they any elves humans or are they are? Uh... No, oh, he's a racist. <laughs> that is a good point, and <laughs> sure, he is now a racist because somebody said that, and I needed any more explanation. This he's is just like how Elden has human racism come now. He just hates humans. Oh, he is yeah. an elf, after all. No, he's a human. No, he's a human. Um, he's yeah, a no, human he human hates... yeah, he hates his own race. <laughs> it's, it's very complex. He's a self-loathing Maybe the human. local town of Wobrook is just mostly humans. Have you ever seen that? Uh... Hey, Lore Master Jonathan, what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jonathan, uh, what's up with that? I didn't make him racist. <laughs> okay, um, anyway. Uh, David did. Uh... Kenya, is that your turn? Okay, uh, uh, uh Sir Kit, is that anything me? you want to do, right. what do you want to do, and Clover, you're on deck. Has the bear been damaged at all? The bear has yes. taken three hit points By of damage. By gradient yeah. damage. Hmm, choices. Do I go after said mage boy, or do I kill this bear? Go after the mage, I will take care of the bear. Sounds good to me. But, well, I guess you can go in the house of fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a robot. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so I'm going to move my Echo, which is this is 30 feet from me. Okay. And still on the bridge. I'm then going to use my bonus action to switch places with my Echo. Neat. <laughs> which still, I have 30 feet of movement because I haven't moved. Okay. I will say then, if you move through the fire, uh, you will take uh, 1d4 plus 1 damage, plus, or have though, because you are a Warforged, so. I don't know. Yes, you're, you're a metal man. You don't care. Yeah, I'm running through. Well, actually, I'm going to just look back at the party. I will go after. And <laughs> instead of running, I just walk through. Okay. Just go into the fire. How far in can you uh, get? Uh, 30 more feet, so I can get on the other side of this door, I guess. This is a door right here. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, okay. At that point, my echo does disappear because it's more than 30 feet from me. Okay. Um, I take how much damage? Uh, you take four damage. Just from, uh, uh, two damage, sorry. From the fire. Alright, that's good. So can I get through this door, is it Yeah, locked? it's not, it, it was very, it was just sort of pushed open in a hurry. Okay, yeah, I still have five feet of movement, so I'm gonna push it open and, okay. and 
and uh, go okay. inside. Opens out without any resistance. Then give me a second. Hello? Amed? No sign. <laughs> I think you haven't seen I do not see Amed anywhere. If you'd like to continue moving, I think you could... Do you, have, do you still have the dash action? I do. Okay. <laughs> I didn't um, hear that. Do you want to go to the other room, or do you want to go to the other platform? <laughs> the Terminator. Um, so I still have 30... Yeah, I'll move 10 feet, open this door. Okay. <laughs> you see a lovely dining room and some small workbenches. But Hello? Nope, hey, not here. I do not see Noak. I have 10, 20 more. Okay. I move here. Is that it? Um. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That was a lot. Yeah, echo next, man. Remember, um, I, told, well, my, I have insane movement with the Clover, you are up. Okay, um, seeing how it looks like the battle here is, is fairly contained, um, Clover is going to um, pull out her broom and fly off. Uh, she has a fly speed of 50 feet. Maybe I should snap it. Okay. Yep, to there. Okay. And let's see what she... That door, is that door open? Which door? Can you ping it? Right here. Um, so the door that Sir Ket is currently standing in is open, because he just opened it as part of a... I guess technically that would take an object in right. No, ignore that. Um, it's open, but uh, the uh, other doorway up that walkway here. That does not... Yeah. You don't know, but it is closed. It is closed. And what's... This is a building... It's that is just an a, outhouse. The, okay. the bear came out after not shitting in the woods, if you will. <laughs> where, where is the door? What side is the uh, door? It's on there? the south. Like, oh, wait, oh, it's, oh, it's right here. This, okay. Yeah, here. Um, Alright. Not seeing anyone from here... Um, she's going to just, uh, magic missile the bear. Alright. The first level spell slot. Okay. Um, Make your darts. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, eight total points of damage. Every little bit counts. Yeah. So, same thing that happened in, in the tavern, more or less. Um, these darts shoot out from three of her stretched out fingers. Uh, spin around and then they all implode downward, leaving um, kind of uh, purplish uh, pollen. The bear definitely does not appreciate this kind of thing, and although it does seem to sort of enjoy the little sparkly pollen that's emanating from it, <laughs> but it certainly does not appear to enjoy being pelted with all this force damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Anything else you want to do? My... No, in my turn. Okay, top of the round. Noke is off the map. He does something. Uh, Shelly, okay. it is your turn. What would you like to do? First, the bear takes three radiant damage. I also take three radiant damage. Okay, brown bear takes three radiant damage. Got it. Okay, and then I will pull out <laughs> from my cult. <laughs> and pull out the warhammer. And as I'm above the bear, I'll just do the thing like the magical girls that have like way too big weapons. I'll just whack uh, <laughs> on top of it. Let's okay. see if I hit. 15? Hits. Ooh, yay! So here's, I can do additional radiant damage when I hit. Mm -hmm. So that's three radiant damage. Um, <laughs> Three so that's three additional okay. um, radiant damage to these three well, six bludgeoning. Total. Six okay. total, yeah. Okay, the bear uh, bloodied. And I will, a I will end uh, with my bonus action, my radiant consumption. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, and that will be it. 
Okay, um, Zargo, you're up. Sorry for not telling you that you were on deck. And, uh, okay. next player will be, uh, um, uh, uh Kendra. Alright, uh, we're gonna take another bite. Okay, of, I'm assuming of the only ape that didn't flee and or is dead? Yes. Okay. Uh, that. Bite the ape. Okay, that's definitely beats the ape. Yep, and for uh, seven damage. Seven damage. Okay, uh, and uh, that'll that'll be it for this turn. Okay, and let's see the brown bear. Um, gets a little pissed off and tired of just nipping at Shelly's shoes, so it's going to move here. Shelly, if you'd like to use reaction to make an opportunity attack, you may. Uh-huh. An opportunity. Oh. God bless America. Oh, uh-huh. oh. that's a lot of damage. <laughs> it will move out of the way, getting very hurt in the process, and it will attempt to maul Kendra. Uh, let's see. Uh, Thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. Multi attack. It. Uh, it will make a bite attack and a claw attack. So does the uh, nineteen hit? Okay, and uh, does a seventeen hit? Okay, so the bite attack hits for seven damage. Okay, uh, it is that is the brown bear's turn. It is Finithier's turn. He is going to continue prancing around here, just in a sort of little circle of panic and bleeding frantically. <laughs> it is the ape's turn. Sekim, you're muted. Oh, sorry. Were you trying to say something, Sekim? Okay. Okay. Ape. This ape will actually start fleeing as well. Uh, Davey, if you'd like to make an opportunity attack, you may. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he's uh, he's restrained. Oh, he's restrained. I'm sorry. Right, I forgot to mention. He can't flee. He just uh, lost his mind I guess real he bad. try. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try to get out of this bad situation. And so that's his a... Uh, is that a strength check? Oh, dang it. Sorry. There's a ton of snap blocks. Uh, uh, DC 13. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say which kind. I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say dexterity. What was it? it should be or... strength, I believe. Yeah, that's fair. Its strength is slightly better. And it's a 17. He's able to break free with his action. And he is going to start booking it. And I'm going to bite him again. You're going to bite him again. Well, let's see if, this... if you hit, you grapple him again, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> dang it. That's a nat one. Okay. Well, you, uh... you bite up the fleeing ape, and it just swings wide. And, uh, For some ape... reason, I don't see Davy's rolls. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why, but uh, they're only broadcasted to the GM. Oh, huh. that's... And I didn't change that setting, so. Oh, well. That's kind of weird. Um... We don't need to see it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, da, 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 um, okay. Kendra. Kendra, it's your turn. Uh, jo- uh, the circuit, you're on deck. Yep. And then Clover after. I will just attack the brown bear twice in my quarter staff. See okay. If it's still alive. Okay. Whack whack. Go for Nothing it. can survive your quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, the second one connects. Um, 11 Good just team. misses. The first one just swings wide, but your second blow just comes up afterwards and crack! Hits that brown bear scra- square in the neck. Um, it's the whole line. It dies. How do you want to do this? Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> just like twack it like straight up the head. Okay. Like bad um, bear. Bad bear. <laughs> yeah. And okay. then, um. Can I hide the. Platform. No, no, no. How high is the platform, Jonathan's character? This one. Circuit. Uh, he is currently standing about like twenty-five feet in the air, so effectively twenty. And then okay. uh, the the tower, the, the door itself to the other platform here, um, is thirty feet up. Okay. Uh, I can't reach that, so I'll just um. So we have to go through the house. Okay, uh, you take 1d4 plus 1 da- points of fire damage. That's a 3. You take 4 points of fire damage. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, uh, 
Sir Ketz, what would you like to do? Sergei looks back at Kendra. Oh, hello, Kendra. And keeps walking and opens this door. The door is locked. Um, that's your object interaction, your free object interaction. The door is, you notice that the door is very locked. Interesting. The door is locked. I'm gonna <laughs> grab my chest and throw my Echo on the other side of it. Oh. Wait, on the other side of the door? Or... Yep. Can you do that? You don't need to see? Yeah, you, to manically, magically manifest an Echo of yourself. Ah, dang it, I can see. Dang it, that would have been so cool. Alright, fine. <laughs> They're all P um, enough. Yeah, true. Yeah, like, no, um... <laughs> Okay, um... Portable RAM! I'm just gonna say... HA! Thank you! <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me pull up my character sheet. I forgot about my cloak. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, this is gonna be even better. I grab one of the patches and I put it on the door and it turns into an iron door. That is unlocked. <laughs> Right? Uh, <laughs> I'm what? going to say that wow. the door is itself unlocked, but it doesn't replace the door that was already there. Can I place it next to the door that's already there? <laughs> okay, well, you can't get out it's now. It's a circular... It's so you can't get out now. No, the, 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 the iron door just does that. He can't get out now, but you can't, um, you still haven't gotten in, but, okay. I can't so, open it? Uh, you can open the iron door, but the original door is still there, also. So I can go inside now, you can, because no, of my iron door. You, no, the, no? the original door is still there. I think she's saying there's a double door, there's your door. Yeah, you effectively created a door in front of the when other door. When you open your door, there's another <laughs> door there. <laughs> That's a <laughs> double door. <laughs> it would be a shame if this uh, establishment would start suddenly catch on fire. <laughs> it would be a very... So, okay, so I, I placed my door on top of this door, and I opened my door, there's a door. Yeah. <laughs> well, that did not work out as planned. <laughs> yeah. um, so, it just conf uh, the rules say it just conforms to the opening and attaches and hinges itself. And you can choose if it's, I'm pretty sure you can choose if it's locked or something, but it doesn't replace the door that's already there. Sorry. Because it's not an opening. <laughs> kind of sucks. It's a closed door. Over. Dang uh, it. Jonathan, you want to do anything else? That was my action. That Still was your bun. action. Can I try to open the door? No. That's um, my action. You can... That's an action, I think. Well... Mm. Yeah, okay. So he's just gonna turn around. The door appears to be locked. I cannot get in. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Shelly? Or uh, the, the Clover? What would you like to do? Uh, Clover will look over at, uh, Circuit and said, Can you not break it down, Circuit? I'm sorry, I've expended all of my resources on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I'm running out of spell slots. I really thought that the door would work. <laughs> yeah, start picking through your list of spells. Firebolt does set things on fire, um, I will say. Yeah. Um... Oh, is um, always an option? Uh, yeah. I'm actually going to target uh, target the, the brown bear. Okay. And then she'll chirp out, Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Brown, brown bear, bear sure, just like, huh? Just looks at me. <laughs> I see a more acid arrow coming at me. And then she... <laughs> <laughs> Chuck's uh, burst af acid arrow. <laughs> Alright, so oh, no. that, is, Again. that is well past the uh, brown bear's remaining health. How does this happen? <laughs> uh, the arrow just uh, shoots and the bear's looking and it hits it between the eyes and it explodes. And just kind of the skin and the flesh just kind of melts away from the acid boiling it away. Leaving like its skull. And I guess when it morphs back to a human, the human would be, be like... Uh, scorpion in Mortal Kombat, just a, a skull, and then the rest of the body. Okay, cool. Is that your turn? Uh, I am going to then fly and kind of hover over here, so if the door is open, she can get like a good look Okay, inside. so you're, are, to be clear, you're outside the platform a little bit, or are you inside? Yeah, I'm flying. I'm, no, I'm okay. not inside, I'm on okay, my room. Okay, so, cool. 
Anything else? I would technically, I guess, be up here just looking down. Um, but what are these two areas over here? Just so those as I are fly. the huts that I described in the initial thing. Uh, you guys haven't explored them, so. Okay. Are are the are the doors east facing or yeah, north sorry, facing? Yeah, isn't super obvious. So let me pull up. It's okay. Let me. Uh... That's what I'm asking. Okay. Cool. She would probably shout, "There's doors on these huts down here." As the last one wants to have. Yeah. Right, um, anything else? Nope. Ending her turn. Alright. You all hear a great primal bellow. You're all seasoned adventurers and you've heard beasts roar before. But this one oh, sounds no. a little wrong. Um, oh no. Uh, almost like uh, it's not. Almost like it's more from the. Uh, from the. I thought uh, you were um, joking. <laughs> you thought I was joking, Billy. Almost like it's more from the uh, sound of a uh, woodwind instrument, a deep woodwind instrument like a bassoon, more so than a great beast. And bursting forth from the from the door uh, where I am, that's correct. Yes. <laughs> burst, bursting forth from the central plat, from the highest platform, the bedroom, is Ahmed Noak riding a bed dragon wormling. So he, to be clear, what's happened is he's used the wand of true polymorph to turn his bed into a great beast. <laughs> okay, so fit through the that'll door. do it. As one will. Okay, so um, bed dragon, I believe, is not particularly smart, and it will. Bed dragon. Um, what it'll do? So Noke, riding the dragon, flies up here. Uh, Did he break guys. out of the roof? Yes, he broke out of the roof. This oh. is a mighty beast. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, and I'm gonna roll a d6 on a low number of attacks, uh, Clover, on a high number of attacks, circuits. That's a one. Ooh. So... Oh no! I don't have as many d6s. I'm so far away! Is that me? Yeah, I'm getting attacked, right? Okay. No. It's fine, guys. It's Clover. Right? Clover, if you can make a, uh... Oh, it's Clover, shit. DC 13 dexterity save. Okie doke. You can do oh, this. Oh shit. It's a lot of damage. And you're like 20 feet up also, so... This is not a good place. I'm gonna say at disadvantage because you're riding. Uh, disadvantage? Sorry. Well, the alternative uh, is making a separate roll for you falling off your broom, and I don't want to. Just a second, I have I just have some... I have a racial feat about saves. I just want to double check yeah, what it was. Okay. Oh, it's uh... Oh, this is the, uh, magical thing? Uh, advantage on... I have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma versus magic. Um, I also 1 have... 1d6 for every 10 feet. Just give me a second... Am I allowed to know the DC before I roll? DC 13. All right, with disadvantage. All right, here we go. You can do it. I mean, the you can do it. it. If you want, you can also. I, I can also just say you make a uh, an acrobatics roll to see if to not impose disadvantage, but also see if you fall from your broom. Which okay, is I'll potentially... I'll do the two steps. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say. Yeah, also DC thirteen. So. Uh, okay. Dex save D coming up. <coughs> okay. Ooh, just made it. Just it. And now an acrobatics. Come on, Clover. Yeah, okay. let's go. Yes, you got my girl. You make, you make both those saves and only take 13 points of splinter damage from the this animated bed just breathing its uh, little this shattered bed. Splinter. Yeah, it, it, splinter it's, it's breath. Now, Ahmed, no. Only 13. Yeah, Jeez. Ahmed, no. Yeah. Um, seeing that you're a frail spellcaster by now. Um, is also going to try to hit you with Ray of Frost. Oh, oh yes, so the cantrip. Uh, you can fly, right? <laughs> she is pretty hurt. I can fly. She's got I that cut, and 18. now she has all... Will definitely hit me. But okay. is it... It's a roll to attack, right? It's, it's a roll to attack. attack. Yeah. Shoot. Or... That's two natural ones, so two damage. Yay! On the D8s. Oh. But you are slowed. 
Yeah, you are. You so you are. You do have ten fewer um, movement speed, Shelly. It's uh, that's uh, Noke slash the Bed Dragon's turn. Uh, mm -hmm. Shelly, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, so I'm pretty hurt that. myself. So I'm going to just do a very basic um, cure wounds, uh, just first level. Okay. On myself. No, not like that. Cast it, damn it, cast it! Oh, it's fine, I'll do it myself. Cast the damn spell! Uh, fine, so, I'll do it myself. A D8 <laughs> plus 3. You can't hear it. Oh, 4, you heal 4 damn, four points, nice. On a D8! On a D8! It's fine. It's fine. Okay. okay. I will... Your friends I are, will move. Your friends are hovering in the air above you, and I guess one enemy, two enemies, really. Uh, I guess I'll. I can only go about this far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you use your action. Yeah. So if you want yeah. to continue using your boots of flying, yeah. Sure. Yeah. You're in the air. Mm-hmm. Did you move? Okay. You didn't yeah. move your token, or it's not showing up as moving. But I did. It's over here right now, on my screen. I don't see it. Sorry. Here, let's uh, try to put it. Uh... Oh, so your connection to the server. Give me a second. Okay, well, <laughs> we move you. Do you have anything else you'd want to do? Um, Jazardo, you're on deck? No, that's, that's it for now. Okay. Hopefully, oh, Clover can survive until my next turn. Okay. <laughs> so I can reach her. You got a healing ward, right? Um, yeah, yeah, okay. I can. They... Got all kinds of stuff. I just need to be close enough. <laughs> Jazardo, to do you're it. up. Kendra, you're on deck after Finithier continues to freak the fuck out about his house. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, end the wild shape. Okay, that's a bonus action, right? Yes, it is. Uh, I can see uh, the dragon and everything from here, right? Yeah, you can see the dragon, and you can see Noke riding the dragon. The, uh, Finithir's stolen wand of true polymorph held aloft. Um, Do it. Does this bed uh, happen to have any metal on it? It is a wooden bed. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, some people like messing with things with fire. Is the wand metal? The wand isn't, uh, well, you can't see it from here, but, like, for the sake of argument, I'm just gonna let you know. It is an oaken wand. It's a very long, thin twig with with uh, an iron band on it. Um, you guys will see this later if you, uh, assume you survive. Billy, uh -huh. thought was, uh -huh. Billy thought I was joking when I said I was preparing dragon tokens. Yeah, I really did. What do you mean tokens? Uh, tokens, plural. singular, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, what do you mean? Tokens! Okay. Um, you gonna do anything else, though, maybe? Take a dash? Yeah, a... uh, I thought I was... Oh yeah, I was just waiting for that. Uh, so I'm going to cast Moonbeam, uh, nice. directly over the, uh, dragon and, uh, uh, what's his face? Nope. Uh, okay, did nope. you hit both of them? Uh, do, do, do. Let's see, us. it is a... Save throw. Yeah, it it should. Uh, they're engulfed in ghostly flames, okay. uh, and they need to make a Constitution saving throw. Here, I'll just cast it. It'll be easier that way. All right, Noke rolls a uh, fifteen. Noke rolls a seven plus one, so eight. He fails. The dead dragon. Rolls an 8 plus 3, 11. It also fails. Um, does 11 radiant damage. And, uh, Noke. So, oh shoot. Uh, Noke will have to do. He has to make a roll. He fails his concentration check. Hmm. Oh boy. So, oh, the dragon turns into a bed again? Yep. <laughs> it just doesn't fly. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, 
Like, but like mm -hmm. a but like a beat up bed because it already destroyed itself to, yep. to shoot I need to drop this into the token layer, give me a second. Alright. You guys see oh, that's the wrong layer. Nope. And this bed. Now just a bed. <laughs> At least the bed breaks his fall, probably. <laughs> And, uh, the bed breaks his fall, so I'm gonna say he takes 1d6 less of damage, but he still takes d6 of damage from pointing up in the air, or from being up in the air. So, three that would be hilarious if be that's nasty. how he goes down, right? Oh, uh, I've been saving for my turn this entire game. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, um, is that your turn? Oh yeah. Pretty that's good turn. Fugafir uh, is, like... Realize, hearing the ruckus around here, we'll use some of his movements to run under these roots. Uh, and be sort of just behind you guys, although on the ground. But he's also just watching this down. He kind of has steeled himself and accepted the fact that his house is on fire. And he's like, oh, you know what, I'm a master transmuter wizard. If I turn back into a human, I can just build a new one. Um, <laughs> you, you don't hear all this. All you hear right now is, bah! Bah! Um, okay, um... Kendra, Kendra, it's your the turn. Um, I run to here and I jump. I have slow fall, so if there's any damage, it should be like really fine. And it's, then you don't you don't take the damage. You take like half damage. Uh, I get to reduce it by twenty five. So. Gets reduced by twenty five. It's a twenty foot drop, so I'm pretty sure. You know, wait, it's two d six. You can't even. Okay, cool. Make you a twenty five. Take the damage. <laughs> yeah. And then the usual. Two quarter staffs and two punches. Okay, two quarter staffs and two punches. I don't think he's gonna survive this turn. Or I don't think he is either. And, uh, well, We're all gonna pummel him. It's probably good because you're gonna miss out on a huge fight or on this other fight that could have happened. All right, so that is. Let's see, what's armor class? Um. Those class are all really 12. high punches. Yeah, yeah. armor class is twelve, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these are all set. These are all. Uh, these are all two-handed. To be clear. Seventeen. That's twenty points of damage total. <laughs> are they two-handed? All of them. Twenty-three. Yeah. Okay. The first 30. two are. Yes, yeah, thirty total. Um. 30. Okay. Well. Um. How does this happen? How would you like to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I want to stylize it like when she jumps off the platform. She first lands the first by like literally bashing his head in the quarter staff, and that stuns him enough that it's. Like, it's a and then her last blow is like just a tiny like boop to the nose. <laughs> then he like flings back off the. With that last small piece of shock. With that last gentle touch, Ahmed Noak falls from his ruined bed onto the ground. The wand of true polymorph falls from his hands. Can Clover dive down on her broom and snatch it up? Yes, yes, she can. Um. <laughs> Okay. I can do it. Heal so, you at least. Combat's over. Um, oh, sorry. Why am I doing that? Combat's over, to be clear. Um, and if you guys, if you'd Dang. like to, you guys can go stand around. Dang, I on will my turn, go. That guy was gonna take and six. Cast. Wait, 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 Jonathan, something. what's the what's the Harry Potter uh, wand command to make someone turn into something? Uh, um. Gosh, I know wait, this wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Oh, I should know this. <laughs> Come on, Jonathan, Clover, you're failing okay. me! Um, oh. Clover. Um, Clover, ten. Oh, thank you. Ten for Clover. Okay, so as you, uh, as you, uh, continue to look, Finithir sort of just, like, makes this little cheap little Eleven gesture for Clover towards the, uh, well. upper plat- towards the large upper platform. Um, some of which is still very much on fire. Um, but he, he's trying, he looks like he's trying to speak. Yeah, um, Clover will try to use the wand and she says, Leviosa! Are you, <laughs> are you trying to, what are you trying to do to him? Turn him into a human. Are you sure you want to do that? The wand is, uh, a little... Uh, <laughs> I know that cue. Um, okay, she will say, I, I can try to turn him into a human, um, but can anyone... Speak to him. Ah, speak ah, the, the, the yes, sort of, sort uh, of just, like just out of go can understand. 
the sheep's if, toward, this toward, sort of gesturing up towards this uh, platform, this particular part of the platform. Oh, the okay. Form. I will float up, go back a bit, and I will cast Sleet Storm where the fire is. Okay. Fetter Verto out, is the spell. You... Okay, the fire <laughs> One, is... two, three, Fetter Verto. Fetter Verto. So the out, idea is that if there is any flames, uh, the spell extinguishes them. Okay, as this lovely snowstorm... Just storm... cover the floor with ice. Okay, so as this <laughs> lovely snowstorm does set in on the, uh, um, uh, on the, uh, on, on the, on the, uh, little treehouse thing, uh, one other thing ca catches your eye. It's a spell scroll that's exactly like the spell scroll Finithir gave you guys while you were here. Oh, oh, I'm casting okay. Sleep with Animals again, too. Okay. What is it? Okay, so... <clears throat> Fantasy can talk with all of you again. Ugh, I did this, didn't I? I was too hot on the boy. He didn't deserve this. Just Jizago doesn't think so. All the things he was complaining about sounded pretty standard things to me. Oh yeah, I had to do the same thing. I loved my mentor. I was created. <laughs> Me too. Perhaps. Perhaps I can try to at least make it a little bit right by the good boy that he once was. I will... I'll, I'll see if I can... Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can, uh, you know, help those other minions of his that ran off into the woods. You know, I'll take them in. I'll make them human again if I can. If you, you will help me become, recover my masterful self. Now. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no problem. If I just sleep tonight, I can do it tomorrow. Okay. Is there a reward? Uh, uh, we shall see you once I am a wizard again. Uh, now, let me see my wand. Are you going to show uh -huh. it to me? Yeah. Okay, so what uh, was it? Hmm. <laughs> Would you like right, to well, I, I got to leave. Intentions? Oh I gotta leave, so, so sorry, if you're yeah. gonna do if you're gonna do something, do it quick. Um she'll say she'll speak Sylvan, and anyone that speaks Sylvan may listen. Uh, hey, I do! Yeah, Sylvan, so right? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh should should we give uh should we give it back to him or should we learn the the properties on how to use it? Oh fine. If you don't oh wait, Crappy can't he doesn't know that. There's a lot of things we should just give it to him. Okay. I believe we should also we should also give it to him. We came here for this direct purpose. You speak we do not want to be sweared. Yes, yeah. my uh, workforce speaks Sylvan. <laughs> His <laughs> creator must... might be Sylvan, or yeah, it might be an be elf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's like, okay, he can have this back. Here okay. You go. Oh, he he doesn't have hooves, so he'll just look at you in your hands and be like, "Good lord, what did Noak do to this?" I put it in its mouth, like. Oh, you put, you put it in its mouth. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. And he does. You hear him say, oh, Lord, what is no clue to this? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, anyone who likes to can make a uh, can make a DC 15 Arcana check. Not particularly smart, but... I gotta roll the two. Nope. <laughs> That's great. Wow. No, no, it's pretty good. I have some really bad skill checks. Well, maybe this one will be good for you. Okay, so, uh, Shelly, um, you pass the DC-15 intelligence check, or arcana check, and, uh, you notice that the wand has been modified, and this is what Finithir is complaining about, and the modifications have rendered the wand extremely unreliable. Um, anyone who wants to use this wand will have to, uh, exert some, some more than normal, um, you know, just arcane efforts over it in order to leverage the uh, wand properly. Mm. Otherwise, it Can I get it from his mouth? Yeah, you can grab it from his mouth. I'll grab it and I'll look at it and I'll try to break it. <laughs> break it? Yeah. Why? It's the because other it's one. Dangerous. No one else can use this. <laughs> it could kill him. Okay, um, are you going to... Okay, as all of you are dumbfounded and look It's onwards, like, you know, like... You, we want you know how reward, sometimes man. you're looking at something and you're just trying to see how durable it is and you kind of test it out? Kind of like that. Okay, well, <laughs> as you snap the wand over your knee, Finithir just sort of looking over you in shock. The wand well, explodes. that was unexpected. Everyone nearby takes seven points of force damage. 
Oh, Where's she on the map? <laughs> it's good. Uh, oh, where did I, I, I go? I assume everyone's Probably. like closest to Finithia right now. Unless... Sorry. I still envision Jonathan like up on the bridge, just talking. I to am. Him. Okay, well, I am. so oh, sorry, yeah. Sir Cat the good thing else... is that I healed Clover for twenty-one points <laughs> before okay. all of this happened. Now, as, so... you, as you do this, and after the sheep, after Finithia has recovered himself adequately from, um, just um, from taking this rather large beating, which left him bloody, he's gonna say, "You idiots! What have you done?" You know, mister, this wand is very, very dangerous. You probably shouldn't use it. Well, you can't use it now. That wand was an artifact! It was a once-in-a-generation piece of magic! What have you done? I believe she snapped the wand in half. <sighs> um, do you have access you... to spells? Maybe I could peruse your spell book and learn something that can help you. Oh, yes! Yes! Perhaps, maybe, just you, uh... No, the great adventurer will just learn true polymorph as as you do. So, I consider that a challenge that I'd like to. It's a level accept. seven spell. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got. I really got to go. All right, sorry, Davy. Okay, right, thanks, Davy. Yeah. Thanks, Davy. Bye. Um. So you see, Finithier sort of just like mournfully walking up the steps to his old um apartments. Are you guys gonna or to his old house? You guys gonna follow him? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. uh, we, we can just see her mind this, I don't need to token this. So as you follow him, you see him like morphly open up his, go to the old bedroom with a shattered roof and pull, open up his, uh, open up his wardrobe and pull out this long blue robe. And he's just gonna be like, he will pull it over himself as best as he can without his, uh, arcane things. And he'll just sort of look there, as, about as close to being a wizard as, again as he ever has been in the past two years. And just sort of mope in his long blue robe, and I'll be like, um, Clover cast Mage Hand to assist. Here, allow me to help you. Thank you, darling. <sighs> okay, look, I haven't got a lot of time left on this spell. Look for my old. What I want you to do is look for my old colleague, who is, he he is perhaps one of the foremost transmuters of this land, beside from uh, aside from myself. He's a great gnome, a great gnome transmuter, known as Sibo Welber. Hey, would that be someone that I would know in the gnome world? Um, yeah, uh, make a uh, history check with advantage. Okay. And can you type out the name just for oh, my notes? <laughs> this is a throwaway character. That we're now fully going to fall off on. This is how DMing works, Ava. This is how you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You give, you give the character, you, the players a character, and then they continually the character. Like, you know, Jackson the Stable Boy. <laughs> yeah. Stable Boy is perfect, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, did you give him nuts? 26! Woo! Okay, yeah, so you've heard of, um, you've heard you did. Of, of this, uh, Sibo Weiber. He's actually a transmuter of, like, arguably far more repute than Finithir Shinebright, who is a, a very powerful wizard, but he's a local name at, at best, you know? Um, so, as the spell fades, um, Finithir just says, please, find Waver. Uh, he is the last one who can help me. You, you can take- No, that's not true, I can help you. Uh, look, I will point you towards artifacts that you may take from this tower. Please, help me, though. And I... I will! Mm. Tomorrow I can do it right mm. now. Bah. Bah. I'll I turn to the others. Can... I can help him, though. How I believe. How, how can you help him? I'm, I'm curious. I can dispel his magic. It's a strong magic, though. Are you sure you can... Hmm. Well, I might not be able to do it. The first time I try, but I can try multiple times. Okay. Maybe. In a day, I can try... Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Three times. Alright, so as an epilogue, do you want to try long resting at the tower and casting Dispel Magic? Yeah. <laughs> Why <Right>. not? <laughs> so... I would also like to look and see if I can locate a spell book to learn spells from him. Okay, um, I'm going to have to... 
I'd have to, oh, this is a one shot, but I, I would have to uh, get back to you afterwards with what he would know. With what he and or Noke would know. Okay, so. You have to get back to me because this is in the lore of Everin. So. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, there's no follow up where we go looking for Sibo? <laughs> well, the. Another one, one shot. shot. We're pushing for another <laughs> one shot. We oh, must no, look for Sibo. So, searching oh, around the grounds, bad. you find the ruined huts. Um, I'll roll this, persuasion. <laughs> you roll persuasion on the sheep or roll persuasion on the DM? On the DM. It's a DC 40. <laughs> oh, no. What's your charisma so modifier, IRL? Uh, I, think, I think it's pretty high. Okay, well, the rest of you, um, you spend the night in the gar in the pilfered guards huts. This appears to have been where the, um, this uh, long one here appears to have been where most of these guards were sleeping. There are several beds, and uh, it wasn't enough to house all those bears, but it seemed to be full of, um, you know, uh, it seemed to be full of enough that they could take ships and whatnot. This smaller hut here um, was host to a uh, small uh, easel filled with very horrible paintings. Oh, man. That's sad. Okay, These so... paintings are very abstract. They are <laughs> they very ugly. Paintings. Even, after, <laughs> even, like, even taking into account their, that they're abstract works of art, they're not very skillfully crafted. And as you gaze at them, um, you recall how Goose the Orc had paint-splattered armor as he confronted you guys. Oh, poor guy. Oh, right, he's dead. Afterwards, um, you guys have all recovered your spell slots. Uh, this is dead. Yeah. Uh, I bones. will get the spell magic. Jeez, I never got to use my axe and surge and hit some six I times. I'm so sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> you got to like bounce around the house like a like a boss, though. How yeah. did you run so fast, Jonathan? So I can move my echo thirty feet, and I can use a bonus action to switch places with it. Therefore, oh. I didn't use any movement, so then I got to dash, so then that's another 60 feet. Yeah, yeah. okay, you did dash, okay. All right. Let's see. So, Finithir, having run out of spell scrolls, but uh, Jizargo, um translating through his own ritual cast, uh, Speak with Animals, says that he's willing to try, although Finithir no. is not um, very That optimistic. doesn't count. That doesn't count. Roll as many things as, thing? you, as you would like to. As okay, so that's. Like on so I only have three spell slots. Okay. The idea is that you, when it's higher than you, the DC is equal to ten plus the spell's level. True polymorph is a ninth level spell. So, the DC is nineteen. Okay. Oh. So I just need to roll a D twenty. <laughs> nope. Now, as you as you continue to cast the spell, um, Finithir like sort of points to you on, sort of like translating through Finithir. He says that, he, or tra translating through Jizargo, he says that he's not optimistic because the way the mechanics of true polymorph, the way that it works, is once the spell takes hold after an hour, the form becomes permanent. There is no more magic to dispel, and uh, unfortunately. This is a man who has been a sheep for two years. So, even then, he thanks you for trying. Mm -hmm. So, that out of the way, he quietly asks you, in his mournful and still wearing his blue robe, he asks you to leave his tower, although he does give you uh, arcane paraphernalia um, worth 1,000 GP as a party, and a couple magic items just to, sh uh, to prove his gratitude. Um, he, from the cl from the closet, he gives you a cloak of many fashions, and then from his kitchen, he gives you a tankard of sobriety, and a decanter of endless water. And with that, the sheep... Well, that can be dangerous. It can be. <laughs> and with that, the sheep bids you a fond farewell, and you, the pirates of Palor, departs down the road, back towards, back away from the woods, oh, sure. leaving Finithir in his loneliness to try to solve his own problems. And perhaps you'll you'll help him someday. But that's where we're going to wrap up. Uh -huh. Sorry for running a bit over. 
It's okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. That was great, Ava! Yeah. Yay! Yay. Yeah. You did awesome. You did great. Well, I had so much fun. Hello, this is Malachi from the Night Sparrows, and you've been listening to a presentation of the Harp and Hearth Tavern D&D group. You can find us at SoundCloud as the Harp and Hearth, and we also have a Discord, the Harp and Hearth Tavern. I hope you enjoyed this session.